G'day, and okay, uh, I'm welcome to Philbert Flies. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Philbert, and uh, what I do is I sit in front of my computer and I pretend to fly planes across the world. Now this week is Australia Week Plus, uh, which means I'm doing three Australian streams, of which this is the last one. The first one was a bit of a stinker because the sim crashed, uh, but I've fixed it, I think, so hopefully we should have no problems today whatsoever as we fly from here in Brizzy down to Ayers Rock or Uluru. Uh, so we're simulating Jetstar Flight 667 and uh, yeah hopefully we're going to have a lovely time and uh, that's that's all I've got for you, that's all I've got for you in, uh, <laughs> in my Australian accent but I hope, I hope you enjoyed it, sort of bring a little bit of local flavour, you know that sort of thing. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Thank you for your uh, for your feedback. I'll take that on board. <laughs> no, no practice. A little bit spur at the moment, to be honest with you. Um, who's this? Resub from Mr. Melon Lord. <laughs> Thank you very much, boss. Thank you very much for your continued support of Club Filbert. Good evening, Seared Lab. So who have we got here? We have Paul, who I've already... Uh, Already said hello to. We've got Jenny. We've got Icebird for all. Welcome. As you call into the wood, it will come back. What's that? Is that some kind of Australian saying I haven't heard of? Um, <laughs> is it me or Phil? But my ecology is much better. Well, I hope so. I would like your feedback. Oh my goodness me! And Marcus, Marcus, cheering. 100 bits. Thank you very, very much indeed, boss. Much appreciated. And both of you have given people the chance to see my brand new, far more professional alerts. I've also, I think, oh no, I haven't. I was going to say I thought I had sorted out the overlay with stream elements so that the names were in the right place. But of course, Marcus's name is not in the right place. It's It's gone a little bit wrong. We'll have a fiddle with that maybe in the cruise. Uh, we have Ben. Good morning, boss. We have Deutschwerks. We have... Uh, <laughs> We have Sam. Is that Australian or is that South African? Very much Australian. Perhaps with a, just a tiniest tinge of New Zealand, I think. But, um, yeah, 80% Australian. Jenny, hello. Um, so you are the great, the great pretender. I've been called worse, boss. <laughs> Vermin Lord Tacker. Good evening, boss. Welcome. Ch name change, I see. What's brought that on? We have ground. Awesome. Um, yeah, so Marcus again, thank you for the bits. And who else is here that I haven't said hello to? Hype Karras? Ooh, another cheer! Be on the Airbus, hello, be your growl, your re-PR comes, your will be done as on jet stars. Even so, and Nigel's give us today your beauty and forgive Philbert for ruining our immersion just as we also <laughs> forgive him for flying a jet star A320 Neo and lead us not in temptation but save us from the surface for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory for eternity Rolls Royce. <laughs> That, Simon, was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> yeah, so for those of you who, who take a, uh, a, a slightly less casual approach to simming than I do, you will be aware that I am uh, flying a Jetstar A320neo and they don't have any. So that's what that little, <laughs> what that little prayer was for. That was absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. Uh, <laughs> I think I've said hello to everyone who's here. Um, if I haven't... Um, oh, Alex has been doing stuff. Alex has been doing stuff at 9.20. I hadn't seen that. <laughs> like the quote. <laughs> oh, dear. Good, yes. Yeah, so, as as some of you will know, I'm still not um, particularly, particularly au fait with Twitch um, and what's going on with it. But... I'm getting there. I'm getting there, and I'm hoping that now I'm using stream. Uh, not str now I'm not using Streamlabs, but using Stream Elements. So there'll be a bit more flexibility, and also it's less of a scam. So yeah, that's. Uh, that's time. I just wish I could sort out that cheer text. I will. I'll be able to do that at some point. Right. Shall we do some setting up? Is it time? Don't worry. I'm carrying the V25 2500 like a true <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's have a look and see who we have around us because I know that Ben was uh, planning on flying along. We have someone in a Virgin Australia there. Let me have a look at my Volanta. That's probably an easier way of doing it. Um, yeah, so to my immediate right, 
apparently, according to Volanta, we have a Jetstar 29 who is also flying to Ayers Rock, but I can't see him. Don't know why. Uh, we have Ben over here. Oh, I bet it's my blooming model matching still playing up, is it? Can I just not see Jetstars? Are you both here? Twitch is for the cool kids. Stick around. <laughs> um... Haven't touched the PC in nearly a month and a half. And do you feel better for it, uh, Harry? Uh, over here we have Melon in his Qantas Link. What plane is this? Qantas Link A319 or something, boss? Is it? Or is it an A320? I don't know. Anyway, very nice, very nice. I'm slightly wondering if you're doing this to take the pressure off me and my immersion and my immersion killing ways, but uh, if you are, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to be a 737. Oh, no. That's not the livery you have on. That's a 737 to you. Yeah, so, my, so basically, I don't know what's happening with my model matching because... Um, it wasn't working yesterday. I could just see people's lights. And then I spent about three hours with AIG Manager trying to verify everything and update it. But it kept crashing, so I didn't get there. And then I Hi, thought I'm it back. was working no issues on because it seemed to be working. I came to Sydney. I came to Heathrow, had a look. And all of the aircraft that should have been there were there. But I've obviously got an issue with 737. So I don't know. I don't know. Well, well, lucky you, Sam. <laughs> I honestly don't know what's happened to mine. I did re reinstall the sim before that. Um, I can only assume when I tried to update it before, because I've still got like the models that we had when it came out rather than any of the updates. And I had a bit of time yesterday. Everything was going wrong. So I thought, oh, I know. I'll update my AIG. Yeah, look, here's someone. I can see their light. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, so we'll just have to try our best not to drive through anyone, I guess. It's all we can do. <laughs> uh, right, let's get set up, shall we? Uh, get our screens brightened up because it's lovely and sunny here in Brizzy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I mean, I'd be tempted to delete it all and start again. But you can't, you can't do that because they've taken the AIG manager offline. All of their servers are down. So I think I might be stuck like this for the foreseeable future, which is a shame, isn't it? But anyway, what can you do? Anyway, thank you to everyone who contributed to that uh, level two hype train. It's a very exciting way to start the stream. I'm afraid to tell you you're the only CEO at the airport. <laughs> What? <laughs> uh, dearie me. It's not a CFM56 nor a V2500, no. Run before I die. What was that in relation to? The fact that I can't see you. You can see all but Virgin. Okay. Yeah. Ah! Well, such are the trials and tribulations of... MSFS model matching at the moment. What I'm really looking forward to is just flights FS traffic. I think I think that will be the thing to do. Throw 25 quid at it or whatever it's going to cost. Have all the uh, all the liveries just easy install. Bosh done. Got to ask what am I doing? <laughs> I mean, I did make a suggestion yesterday, boss, that you could get back into your Neo. Have a lovely, lovely time, but uh, you know, now you're the odd one out, boss. That's what happens. <laughs> Certainly on this channel. You gave up with AI AIG. Too time intensive to get it all downloaded. I'm impatient, so bought simple traffic for now to get me through until other traffic mods mod comes. Yeah, yeah, I don't blame you to be honest. I I nearly I nearly did that yesterday myself, but I didn't in the end because hi you know, the security and safety checks are all done. Are you good to start boarding? Yes. Okay. Right. Let's get our route imported. Uh, I hope you're paying attention, Ben. This is this is how you do it, so you don't have any trouble. AOC menu, init press, and then you just go to init data request. Don't type anything in because that messes everything up. 
Bosch. Then you go to Weight and Balance and you do OFP Request Send, which will bring your passenger numbers in. Start boarding, and I have instant boarding on, so it's done. Uh, then you go across to your EFB, fire that up. Oh my god, we've got a book presentation redemption. Boss, do you want it? <laughs> yeah, you do want it now, don't you? We can we can have it now. I'm just I'm just going to show you how you do the fuel. And then, then we'll take a short break from setting up uh, for the book presentation. So, uh, we go to the dispatch page, fuel, and then you get your fuel from your flight plan. And my flight plan is ah, nowhere to be seen. Stand by one. Can you do alerts for, for point redemptions? The package I've got doesn't have one in. You're joking, there's a long cruise ahead. We can do it then. If it, okay, all right, we'll do it in the cruise, boss. We'll do it in the cruise then. Um, no worries. Right, my flight plan. They should use instant boarding IRL too. Transfer time will reduce. <laughs> yeah. So... My view on instant boarding versus realistic boarding is that if you can't see the passengers, there's not much point in hanging around for a indeterminate length of time while the numbers go up. I don't, I don't find that adds to my immersion. Um, others may well disagree. <laughs> uh, right, 10212 kilograms. Instant fueling for the same reason. It's a manoeuvre to get him out of P3 and into MSFS so he can fit in with all the new... <laughs> Uh, dear. But I can't even see Neos, I don't think. I, I don't know. I, I can't see any Jetstar Neos. So a book presentation is uh, where I go to the bookcases that you see behind me. I pick out a book and I tell you about it. This was Harry's idea for um, point redemption and uh, for Philbio's redemption. And uh, yeah, so far it's proving very, very popular. Everyone has absolutely loved the book presentations. Um, so yes, you'll be, able to, you'll be able to see one firsthand in the cruise and you'll be able to um, it'll give you something to aim for with your points you know won't say day I have more time to get the plane okay won't say day what say that you have the Ul no I don't have Ulysses on the shelf unfortunately no yes Yes, I am thinking about adding some more rewards. I just don't know what. I'm still I'm considering a photo presentation for maybe fifty thousand Philbios. So I would sort of find a photo from a I don't know, from something I've been somewhere I've been, something I've done, and maybe um maybe yeah, tell you a little bit about it. Don't know what you think of that. Um What might get si Simon arguing? So can we have some other things like whiskey tasting session? <laughs> I'm not a big whiskey drinker, Paul. I'm not a big whiskey drinker. We could have a beer tasting session, maybe. But then I'd have to constantly keep a big stash of beers in my house just in case and just have little sips of all of them, which seems a little bit risky, to be honest. I'm not absolutely convinced that I wouldn't just drink them all and then have none when the time, when the time came. <laughs> Need a shot redemption. <laughs> oh, God. No, I don't do shots. I don't do shots. I draw the line at that. As long as it's not one of those photos, it's a great idea. <laughs> Noted, boss. Noted. <laughs> Films intimate images. <laughs> oh, dear. Charter story. Poss that's a possibility table dance. Gosh, lots of very good ideas, all of which I will give some serious uh, serious consideration to. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Right, anyway, yes, plane, what are we doing here? Right, so, <clears throat> we've done all our AOC menu stuff. Uh, we'll do our init request over here again. Don't fill anything out here, and it'll just import it. Flight level 380, cost index 15. That is all correct. You'll see uplink in progress, and then uh, uplink complete when it's done. We have more inputs than a cow outputs. <laughs> it's just true. And similar in quality, boss. Similar in quality. <laughs> Phil, but hot tub stream will make millions. I have my doubts about that, uh, Deutschfurz. But I have said 
that uh, as and when I launch the top tier of Club Filbert, which is either going to be called Diamond or Platinum, possibly both, one for Twitch, one for YouTube, then I will do a hot tub stream. I will. And I'll send you some of my bath water. I'm pretty sure I've agreed to that. Oh, yes, and uh, <laughs> toenail photos, I think, uh, I think was promised as well. <laughs> Uh, dear, we've we've been through some times here, haven't we? Uh, so then, zero fuel weight, zero fuel weight, centre of gravity. Again, just click that twice to import it from the plane. Don't fill it in yourself. Block fuel. You type in manually. Ten point two tons. And that's uh, basically our initial setup complete. So it's time to get our clearance. We have, fortunately, Brisbane Atis Tower ground and center online which is amazing so we have information delta expect instruments approach 19 left and right for arrival and departure um independent parallel runway ops scott <laughs> thank you very much boss thank you oh no text to speech on the resubs Hmm, I'll have to change that, I think. <laughs> uh, right, what are we doing? Uh, yeah, thank you very much indeed, boss. Five months, five months of Club Filbert uh, <laughs> Rubik refund. As if, as if you'll ever see me giving a refund, boss. As if you'd ever really want a refund. Club Filbert Silver is life. Oh, sorry, Club Filbert in general is life. Silver is really where it's at. <laughs> Uh, yeah, headwind. So average headwind is, um, or tailwind rather. No, it is a headwind of 29. H29. I think that's what we do here, isn't it? Yes. Awesome. Right, yes, clearance. So we've got the ATIS. Uh, we'll tune 1 to 1 decimal 7. 1 to 1 decimal 7. And uh, what stand are we on? Can't remember. One two zero to eight five. We'll show forty eight. Thirty nine. And also, if, does anyone know? Do they call them bays here? I think they do. Can anyone confirm though? Based on my landing, sh I should issue refunds. <laughs> do you know? I still think that last landing was good. I still think it was. I don't. Volant is very, very variable in what it tells you. I don't think we can rely upon it. And I think it was good, boss. There we are. Sticking to it. Brisbane ground. Thank you, boss. Uh, Brisbane ground. Are we Jetstar 667? On Bay 39. Important pole in progress. I don't see this. What is... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> do, do, do. Right, with information, Delta. Yeah, Brisbane ground, Jetstar, 7 1 Mike is ready for taxi. <laughs> we had Pete's off already. Just off 7 1 Mike, taxi, straight ahead, Charlie 2. Bravo, Yankee, Sierra, Tango 1. Ultra runway 19, right. Okie dokie. Let's get in there. Taxi straight ahead, Charlie 2, Bravo, Yankee, Sierra, Tango 1419, right, Jetstar 7 1, Mike. Brisbane Brown, Brisbane, uh, correction, Brisbane Ground, good evening, Jetstar 667 on Bay 39 with information Delta. Type A320, request clearance to Airs Rock, please. Right, Wacko 3 departure. Flight flight did 6,000. Code 4221, departure to Center 134, date 2. <clears throat> Didn't hear that. Well, thank you, Paul, though. <laughs> Cleared to Airs Rock, flight plan route. Uh, Wacko 3 departure, runway 19 right. Initial climb 6,000 feet. Squawking 4221 and departure 134, decimal 2, Jetstar 667. 
Roger, 134 decimal 2 for departure frequency, uh, Jetstar 667, thank you. 667. Cool. Wacko 3. And all stations, all stations, Brisbane information echo now currently change. Winds 177 off. Paul! Paul, I can take this seriously now. S <laughs> I mean, your t your timing sucks, but your generosity does not. What what did you even do? I'm going to have to scroll up. Gifted f five blooming subs, boss. Making it a total of 40. You're an absolute star. Thank you ever so much. Much appreciated. My mic sounds different. Yeah, does it sound better or worse? Because I had various settings in Streamlabs that I tried to copy across to... Um, OBS Studio and it didn't work so I had to start again check my vpilot mic in oh I see what's wrong oh oh I see I thought you meant on the stream you're right it's picking up my webcam mic innit thank you bosses much appreciated yeah I think well I don't know do you know sometimes it doesn't actually have um, a source in there and it's just blank I assumed it was using this but I don't, I don't think it was tree tree when good morning boss not my fault. <laughs> PayPal takes so long to process. <laughs> it's true, boss. It's true. Right. I'm I'm finding ATC very quiet, even without the uh, even without the tunes playing in the background. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Um. Anyway, right. Flight plan. We'll sort out our departure. So we are going off one nine right. Wacko three. Insert. We've got two wackos, so we'll clear the discontinuity there. Get rid of that one, may as well. Oh, click the wrong one. Get rid of that one. Clear the discontinuity. And that's our departure all done. We've done our init A, we've done our init B. Now, can I find that very useful takeoff performance calculator that someone shared on your stream yesterday, Ben? I do have it in my favourites, but my favourites are a massive mess. Yes, I can. Got it. Right, so we are an A320 Neo. Our gross weight is going to be for takeoff. Calling a very quiet reading, you were one by five. Six seven five one eight kilograms. Center of gravity is going to be. Actually, we don't know for sure, do we? So let's check in the weight and balance page. Uh, 24.43%. 24.4. Config 1 plus F. We don't need anti-ice. We do need air We do want air conditioning. Runway length. Good morning, Z1 Plays Games. <laughs> How are you? Does Club Philbert come with a new pair of pants? Because that was very loud. What? W which was very loud, boss? Was my mic, mic too loud, or the alert? Oh, and thank you for that, boss. Yeah, what's too loud? What's too loud? I, there are going to be some teething problems with this new OBS setup for sure. Riley, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Little love for Tie Fighter in the ball. <laughs> uh, all right. While while I while I wait for an answer on what the hell was too loud, then. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll fill in the rest of this. My mic on frequency. Oh, okay. Sorry. Right. Let me let me check that. So I've switched it over now. And oh, you're right though. It is. It's it's way. It's Christmas peaking tower, way high. Five, nine, two, okay, Let's try this. Echo, Let's now. try that. Blah 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 uh, blah Android. blah. That looks about right. Okay. Good. This is why you come here for the uh, prepar prepared professionalism. <laughs> Code three six two one departures and center one. Alright, hang on. Right. Runway length, there we go. So we're doing one nine alright. Whew, that's a long old taxi, isn't it? Uh runway length is three thousand three hundred meters. Runway heading is one nine a six. Uh clear to uh, runway condition is dry, uh, airport clear elevation is thirteen. Uh, QNH. Runway one nine right, squawk. 3621 uh, 1010 one, on It's Mr. Paul Mellon Lord 25 okay. degrees Lovely 
and wind is 170 at 8. I do love the way they, they uh, do their tech statuses here. It's very good. Uh, flex 26. Just confirming 1342 is your departure frequency. Stay with me till I hand you off the tail. Okay, 26. I can do. Flex take of temperature 26. We're doing flaps 1 up 0.8. Transition altitude, I think, is 10,000 here, but let's just check. Yeah, it is. Um, thrust reduction acceleration altitude. I'll have a quick look, see if we can find that. I don't think we will, but maybe we will. Liking the new overlay. Thank you, Boz. It is very similar. It's just got some different, uh, different bits down the bottom and... Uh, yeah, I thought I had managed to justify the text right so that the latest cheer and latest gifter bits didn't overlap the icons, but I haven't. And I don't know what to do about that, really. But I'll work it out at some point. Maybe even in the cruise, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. You can watch me tweak my overlay. <laughs> um, but yeah, the new the new alerts I'm very pleased with. I think they're a bit more professional, a bit less a bit less intrusive than the spinning plane. And as you've noticed, I've still I've kept the tunes because the tunes are you know pog part of who I am. Last day in isolation. Oh, fantastic! Are you completely uh, better, boss. Six one six bay uh, two five ready pressure about. I think I must have um, I must have uh, changed the uh, mic one volume one. instead of the out the uh, audio volume for some reason. It's I think. My opinion Most on Jamie Charlie said London thing. control though he's controlling Scottish. Easily done, I imagine. Easily done. You'll miss the spinning. Oh, will you? Will you? Uh, maybe I'll bring it back on special occasions. Okay, so I cannot find a thrust reduction and acceleration altitude on Black Box's site. Is there one on the SID chart? If not, we'll just bloom and make it up. To be honest with you. Um, at or above 5,000. Blah, blah, blah. Right, 4.4 to 3,000 or remain to remain in controlled airspace. Yeah, we'll just leave it as is, I think. I mean, this is the beauty of uh, of flying the wrong plane. You just the rest of your immersion just doesn't really matter anymore, does it? <laughs> Perfectly <laughs> fine, just playing the waiting game. Ah, oh, good. I'm pleased. Push us out approved information, echo current. Push that approved. Um, we've got echo uh, jet star six sixteen. Thank you. Right, get the APU started. We will put our squawk in, which was 421. And we'll put in our initial cleared altitude, which is 6,000 feet. Boom. And we can have the hey first. Guys. All packs were on board. Are we clear to close? Yes. Thanks. Let me know if you need anything. Unfortunately, I don't have an Australian any, an, any Australian voices in this particular FS2 crew, which is a shame. Right, but anyway, before start checklist. Before start checklist. Cockpit prep. Completed. Completed. Gear pins and covers. Removed. Signs. On and auto. ADAs. Nav. Fuel quantity. 10200 zero, zero, zero kilograms. Takeoff data. Set. Barrow ref. 1010 zero, zero, set. 1010 zero, one, zero, set. Down to the line. Right, let's get ready to push back. I do, I think, have an Australian pushback tug driver though. Um. Now, I reckon the pushback here is going to be tricky to do because I don't know where we go back to. Like, how far do we, like, where do we stop? I think I'm probably going to have to use rudder control today and hope I, hope I don't stuff it up rather than, rather than the rather good distance control that is uh, included with uh, Pushback Express these days. You're being a bit rough with the FA with this. Yes, she doesn't sound too... She's very hard of hearing the biz now. I'm not being rude. I'm just trying to make sure that she gets what I'm saying to her. 
Uh, oh, why is Streamlabs still doing this? Don't listen to Streamlabs. Streamlabs is full of rubbish. That link will not get you a uh, um, a shout out if you do donate. Hmm. Wonder if I can just can we just kick Streamlabs? I'm gonna just kick the Streamlabs. That's what I'm gonna do. Bear with me a second, because otherwise people are going to... Much like Scott did the other way around. He gave a donation through uh, um, Stream Elements, and it didn't get a notification. The same thing will happen in reverse today, and I don't want that. So, create a dashboard, community, roles manager, scams is transferring over to Philbin. <laughs> uh... Oh, has someone got rid of him already? Someone got rid of Streamlabs. Ah, I think someone has. He's, he's not in my roles list anymore. But I didn't know. I didn't know mods could do that. No spinning plane. There must be something wrong at this airport. <laughs> 26 might as well Togra. I know, I know. Morning, DJ Nix. I'm so sorry I missed your arrival. You're just setting up a flight from Wellington to Sydney in the Quality Wing 787. Oh, nice. Lovely route, that. Enjoy, boss. I don't know. I can't see Streamlabs there anymore, so whatevs. You're up and climbing. Of course you are, Sam. Of course you are, boss. <laughs> Always the first. Um, right. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, setting up Pushback Express. Neil Pilot 67 welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for the follow bus. Uh. I love steam laps, vomiting face. <laughs> Marcus, this is one of the re so there are two reasons why I want to get rid of stream laps. Once, well the first one is that it is very resource intensive and also a little bit of a scam in that they've basically taken open source software in the form of Streamlabs OBS and put an overlay on it. Sorry, in the form of OBS Studio, put an overlay on it. And the second one is that it is a scam. You're not the only one to have been scammed by them. So I think that both on, after several hours of work, I think that both on Twitch and YouTube, we are now completely done with, um, with, with it. Yeah, with Streamlabs, I think, I think. Right, rudder control. Let's get our tug connected. Oh, now FS2 Crew Pushback Express has crashed. Didn't like it. Did not like that. Let's restart it. Are you starting? Maybe? Yes. Right. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead, flight deck. We'll be ready shortly. Roger. Excellent. Below the line. Windows and doors. Closed. Closed. Beacon. On. Thrust levers. Idle. Boss, where are you? Break. What, did you use Streamlabs to tip, Scott? I'm so sorry. Bridge what are the chances? What are the chances? I'm so sorry. I can, yeah. There, there, there is, there is going to be a period of scamming, but it's, it's going to be, it's going to be over soon. I promise. On. On. Before now. start checklist complete. But you have got your uh, name in the bottom left around. because you were the last person to tip via um, via stream elements, boss. Is there an upcoming crash to desktop? I hope not. I really hope not. <laughs> I'm just going to tell him I'm having model matching issues. Uh, Brisbane Ground, Jetstar 667, stand 39. We're ready for push and start. I should tell you, we have a few model matching issues, so there may be someone behind me, but I don't know. All good, Jetstar 667, push and start approved information echo current. Push and start approved, and we have information echo, Jetstar 667. Thank you. 
You have no idea where we're pushing to here. No idea. <laughs> Should we try and push back onto here? No, it seems a bit much, doesn't it? We'll just push back with our tail that way, I think. Fine, yeah, we'll do that. Try and push back to like here or something. We can come round. Yeah, that'll do. What's looking good? You may be very late, Simon, but EGL scenery for MSFS finally. Yes, I know! It's exciting! It's exciting. I, I'm not 100% convinced it's going to be that good, but it's going to be certainly better than nothing. And it might be good. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead, flight deck. We are ready for pushback and engine start. Roger. Release the parking brakes, please. Parking brakes released. Pushing back. You are clear behind and you can start your engines at your discretion. Okay, it's right. Yeah, it is working. Excellent. Starting engine one. Check. Don't know why I'm starting engine one first. Spur of the moment thing. Test bar 616, we're ready for uh, taxi. Test bar 616, taxi, Charlie 3, Bravo, Yankee, Sierra, to the Tango 100 foot runway 19 right. Taxi Charlie 3, Bravo, Yankee, Sierra, to uh, holding pipe Tango 119 right, uh, Jetstar 616. The other planes all pushed back onto the red light. Oh, did they? What? Uh, Brisbane Ground, are you able to repeat that? Sorry, there was um, a couple of people speaking at the same time. Qantas 592. Yeah, sorry, there was someone there. Qantas 592, once the Jetstar 320 is moved behind you, push and start approved. Right, that'll do. Push and start approved once the uh, <laughs> Jetstar has. Uh, that'll do, that looks, looks about right to me. Brisbane ground gauge at star 132, we're at bay 21. Push back we'll complete, set parking brakes please. Starting parking engine 2. Roger. Okay, the tow bar is disconnected and the equipment is clear. Stay See you on the other side with the pin. Thanks, Thanks and you can disconnect yeah, with the ghost planes. Thanks. <laughs> he won't like that. He seems to have coped all right with it. Thank you, Offworld, and welcome. Nice to see you. There is an instruction card in your seat pocket that illustrates the safety equipment. Oh no, now I've totally lost my blooming chat. Jetstar 132 is cleared to fly plane to Ayers Rock. Welcome to departure, Crown Vice at 6000. Departure zone 132. Here we are. 2 and Squawk 6342. Jetstar 172, negative Squawk 3642. To release your seat belt. 3642. All the way to Ayers Rock with the pushback. Yeah. <laughs> Another Jetstar did, as did a Virgin Oz A320. Oh, right, well, maybe they know what they're doing. To me, that red line looks like it just separates the, the gate areas from the um, taxiways, but I don't know. He's done his engine one flow. Give him a biscuit and perhaps engine two won't upset him. <laughs> right, engine mode selector to normal. APU bleed can come off, APU can come off, turn our taxi light on, and after start checklist. Anti ice. Off. Ecam status. Checked. Pitch trim. So we wanted 0 0.8 nose up, didn't we? Basically 24.5%. 24% set. Rudder trim. Zero. After start checklist, complete. Flight controls check. Ready. Full up. Full down. Neutral. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Rudder. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Flight attendants, please prepare for takeoff. Oh, someone's got a stuck mic, haven't they? Brisbane Grand Jetstar 667 request taxi.
Hmm. Have a complete checklist, thank you, Offworld. Uh, when rudder trim will be needed. Rudder trim, I think, I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that rudder trim is only used if you have an engine failure and you're flying single engine. Or if your rudder's a bit dodgy, I guess. Ah, Lambert93, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Oh, hello. Mahalo. Mahalo. Oh, shout a bomb. What is going on? <laughs> okay. I can I can spray deodorant. <laughs> it's Alan Joy starting. Yes, soon. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Brisbane Ground, Jetstar 667, ready to taxi. Oh, has he gone offline? He's gone offline. Oh, they could have carried this on. Is, this is has gone offline. Maybe an embarrassment, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, boss. Sorry, stationary calling, say call sign. <laughs> so it's a business day. Could be using crosswinds as well, could it? I didn't know that. Sultan 227, uh, Brisbane Tower, go ahead. Sultan 227, that's gate 223, which one is that? Sultan 227, push approved, just caution the. Let me zoom in a little bit. The Qantas off to your right. Brisbane Tower, hello. Jetstar 667, ready to taxi. Me, because the ground controller decided to leave us. <laughs> that sounded like Harry. That's not Harry, is it? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. So we have Ben taxiing out. Brisbane Tower open from ground, uh, Jetstar 616, we're taxiing on a Yankee, uh, then we'll continue Sierra, uh, holding point Tango 1108. Jetstar 616, sounds good enough to me, you can continue doing that. Awesome, thank you. And Brisbane Tower, good evening, Jetstar 667 is uh, ready to taxi. Just our 667, welcome to the party. I've lost your strip, what runway were you given? Ah, uh, no worries, I was given, uh, I was given 19 right. 19 right, sounds good. You can taxi Charlie 4, Bravo, Yankee, Sierra, and then uh, to the Tango 1 holding point, 16, uh, correction, 19 right. Okay, taxi Charlie 4, Bravo, Yankee, Sierra, uh, Tango 1. Holding point one nine right. Jetstar six sixty seven. Awesome. Brisbane ground Jetstar one. Clear left side. Bay two three. Clear right side. Runway one nine left. Request push and start. Let's go. Let's try not to run through anyone who we can't see. Push through Jetstar one. Controller is awesome, isn't he? <laughs> right. You know what? You know what you should do before you start taxiing. Uh, ideally, let's get a chart up that has some taxiways on it. That'd be a good idea. Charlie four, Bravo. Um, I'm not sure which way you're so, facing. You can either take Charlie this 2 one, or it? Charlie 3 and then Bravo, Yankee, Sierra to the Tango 1 holding point, one nine or right. Oh no, hang on, hang on. Uh, I'm going wrong Texas already. Two, Bravo, Bravo's that Yankee, one. Sierra to Tango <laughs> 1 nine or right. Christ! I oh, used to be able to find my way around airports quite well.
Yeah, Australians are just the best, nine, like generally happiest uh, people. They do certainly always seem to. From right to left and him. certainly ATC is. Uh, Quantum 592 following the Egypt Star. <laughs> and uh, yeah, certainly their ATC are always friendly. Never had any problems down here, despite not really knowing what I'm doing. Have a tolerable taxi. I think that's the best we can hope for, actually, off world now. <laughs> Thank you, boss. Nothing is ever bad down under, and that's what she said. <laughs> oh dear. So, we're going to take Yankee next, which is the first of the long taxiways on our left. I really s sort of wish I was going first today so as not to uh, have any possibility to drive through anyone. But, you know, what can you do? Uh, Station calling, say, Cosman. Oh, you off, Alex? Two, two, Thank you, boss. Uh, and, uh, yeah, taxi, see, see you soon. See you soon. Have a good day. Taxi Charlie 3, bravo. Actually, Taxi Charlie 2. Oh, yes, bravo. and enjoy your holiday yeah, as well. Yeah, enjoy your trip. One, holding point one nine of right. Ah, oh, apologies, you were given one on a left. Taxi. Uh, taxi Charlie to Yankee. So this next Bravo one's Whiskey and Alpha Yankee one is the next point one, one on a right. Uh, left. Uh, let's go around. Uh, Southern 207, text by Charlie 2, Yankee Bravo to Alpha 1.0. What's the stream? On, Where's two, the streamlabs two, thing? I thought I thought and, he'd uh, been so dealt so with. I think it has. I think it has Riley, isn't it? Uh, on to do seven, yeah, that's fine. I just didn't I know think. which way you were facing. Question: Because you're in Australia, when you take off, do you have to push forward on the way <laughs> I'm not sure we can give it a go if you want off world. That just a 172? Easy fly 12. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I have I have just to say that um, it's down to the uh, subscribers, the tier Charlie tier one, three subscribers uh, here and and Bravo, um, uh, gold subscribers and over on YouTube who actually decide the flights. But yeah, by all mean uh, by all means, uh, yeah, no, suggest you're away. Going to one nine right. Never Still mind. there, Charlie one, spamming you. Uh, then Charlie Yankee. Yeah. Sierra, we'll have a look. At, we'll have another look in the cruise point. boss. One nine right. You don't mean Stream Elements, do you? Stream Elements is allowed to be here spamming you. Stream Labs shouldn't be, though. Jet Star 132 Taxi, Charlie 1, Tango, Alpha to Tango 1, I'll import it for 1, 9, Jet Star 132. Uh, Jet Star 172, negative, Charlie, Yankee, Sierra to the Tango 1, holding point 1, 9, a right. Yankee, Sierra. Sierra is going to be our next ride. Charlie Yankee Sierra, the Tango One Holding Projector One Zero Two. Apologies. No yeah, that's Stream Elements. Stream Elements is allowed, <laughs> but if you're finding them a bit too frequent, I can adjust that. I can't remember why I had them on on Stream Labs. They do seem to be. Uh, Six Sixteen, we're holding there. Tango One One Nine Eight. Um, we're ready for departure. Do you seem to be quite frequent Star today? 16, I must have said. Clear takeoff. Clear takeoff. One Nine Eight. Six Sixteen. Thanks. And boss, boss Scott, I'm going to look at my uh, PayPal once we're in the air and make sure you get the credit that you deserve for whatever you donated via Streamlabs. <laughs> you couldn't make it up, could you? You got scammed by donating through Stream Elements when you were supposed to be able to do that, but you couldn't. <laughs> scammed again for doing the opposite. It's not fair, boss. Refunds are, are on offer in these scenarios, by the way. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you didn't get scammed today. You didn't get scammed today by uh, by donating via Stream Labs. Good. Do you know, Scott? Do you know, Scott? You notice that you are the uh, latest tipper in the bottom left there. I <laughs> I actually, that came up and then I was testing my alerts and it had my name instead. So what I had to do was to 
tip myself two pounds via stream elements to make sure that your name was there because it was richly deserved. You were only scanned via text to speech, right? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was a bit, was a bit of a scam. But then, to be fair, I don't think we've ever had text to speech on resubs, I, and that's not to say we should. But uh, I, I fear, I fear you had um, high expectation, higher expectations than you should have done with that one, boss. <laughs> Nantes to Tenerife to G yeah GCTS EasyJet very nice that's a, that is a good route um, I will consider it it's a long way it's a long way I still have an A320neo yes, down sir, there 616 you may now contact departures enjoy your flight contact the departure uh, thank you very much that's our 616 have a good weekend I will try <laughs> Right, nearly there, nearly there. Before takeoff checklist. Before takeoff checklist. Flight controls. Checked. Checked. Flight instruments. Checked. Checked. Briefing. Confirmed. Flat setting. Config 1 plus F set. Config 1 plus F. V1, VR. V2, flex, uh, 136, uh, 137, 141, uh, flexing 26 level. degrees. V1, 136, uh, uh, VR, 137, V2, 141, flex, Star 10, 7, 22, 26 Brisbane degrees, Tower, welcome ATC, to the party. Runway set, 19 left, clear to land. ECAM memo. Take off, no blue. Uh, clear to land, one, runway 19 left, uh, Star 722. Take off, no blue. So much. Uh, Down to, to the line. Here we are approaching Bravo 1. Now I had really bad performance issues on landing here yesterday. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping it'll be okay today, but there might be some significant stuttering just to warn you. Uh, the rest of the flight was fine. Sydney was absolutely fine, perfectly smooth. But for some reason here, I had problems. And I don't even have the Orbex landmarks installed here. Start taxi and my foot pedals start sliding all over the damn floor. <laughs> I've been there, I've been there. Good day, Hellfire1309. Welcome to the stream. Always nice to have a local with us. How are you doing? Speaking of Tenerife, got my flights for there with Aer Lingus again. Oh, nice. What, in, in real life, I take it, you mean, Riley? When are you going? Why, he why hello, darkness, my old friend, Scott? <laughs> now, can we see Paul? Can we just see lights? No, we can. I think there's a plane there. Yeah, there's a plane there. Awesome. Yeah, if anyone had an idea how I fix my AIG, I would love, I'd love your help because I honestly have no idea. No idea at all. Oh, because the controllers reply to Ben's have a nice weekend. <laughs> right, yeah. When I fly to Tenerife in real life, I see Aeroflot A330, Air Lingus, A320, so much Chewy Ryanair and Jetty Holiday. Yes, it's a big, it's a big destination for a lot of... Uh, a lot of low cost and, and uh, holiday airlines. And Aer Lingus, of course, which is not neither. You know what I mean. <laughs> Brisbane Tower, Jet Star 667 is uh, ready to go holding short. Bravo 1. Jet Star 667, wonderful. Runway 19 right, clear to take off. Clear to take off, runway 19 right. Jet Star 667, thank you. Right. Cabin crew, be seated for takeoff. Let's do this. Approach path, clear of traffic. He does really sound like Harry. He does. He does. I'm very well, thank you, Hellfire. Yeah, we are indeed flying to Uluru. We are. Below the line. Takeoff runway. One nine a right confirmed. Cabin crew. Advised. TCAS. TARA. Engine mode selector. Normal. Normal. Pats on. Before takeoff checklist complete. Sultan 227 behind the arriving Jetstar. Uh, 320 near, line up and wait. Behind. 
Ready? Ready. Take off. Check. Kristen Jack at star one two two Tango one reef departure one nine right number three. Have I been causing a queue there? Just the one seven two. I might Just can't see any of them. Thrust set. Man flex twenty six SRS runway auto thrust blue. Checked. My pedals feel extra sensitive 100 today. One hundred knots. Checked. Tower, uh, Quantify 90, holding V1, over, runway 19, right, uh, Tango 1. Quantify 92, runway 19, right, line up the flight. Lining up, uh, Quantify 92, lining up, right. Gear up. Jetstar 667, it is now time for you to leave as well. Contact departures and enjoy uh, over to departure for Jetstar 667, and we're sad to leave. Thank you very much for your help, and uh, have a good one. You as well. So, the 2279, running up, one way, 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 one Brisbane Centre, Jetstar 667. Can he not hear me? The reason I engaged the autopilot so early was to show you the pod views and then I got distracted. Your internet's out here, I've got to watch on your phone. Ah, oh, Jenny, that sucks. Mark, hello, it's going very well, thank you, how are you? Really need to do some Aussie flying, these guys are legends. They are, yeah, you have to come down here, it's awesome. Oh, hang on, I think I'm on the wrong frequency, I think I should be on 134.2. Just read their 80s, oops. Well, 722, if it suits better, you can taxi up Bravo and take Charlie 4. Roger, that's fine. Um, we'll take Bravo, Charlie 4 uh, to the bay. Um. Brisbane, good evening. Jetstar 667 is uh, climbing through 5,600 feet to 6,000 feet. Jetstar 667, climb flight level 380, identified, cancel speed restrictions. Climb flight level 380 and cancel speed, Jetstar 667. Helps if you tune the right frequency, Jetstar eh? 667 Direct Ibuna is available. Advice. Hey, phone, we can uh, go direct Ibuna, Jetstar 667. Jetstar 667, Reclear Direct Ibuna, planned route. Reclear Direct Ibuna, planned route, Jetstar 667. Awesome! Right, what else, what else, what have I missed in this chat? Oh, look at this though. This is the whole, this is the new photogrammetry Brisbane. And there's a lot of handcrafted uh, models as well, I think, uh, down here. I don't believe this is all photogrammetry. I think they've actually done some modeling, which is really nice. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why we sacrifice just a tiny smidge of immersion to fly an Airbus with the wrong engines once in a while, because Look at this. Have you ever felt so immersed in the world around you in a flight simulator as you do right now? Hello, Connors 592, passing 4000. Right, what else have I missed? Let's go, Manflex is thrust runway auto thrust blue, indeed. Um, on your live stream on YouTube, I can send message, but no one seen them. Why? No idea, easy flight 12. No idea. Thank you, uh, Hipcaris, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, idiot me. Once or twice is enough. Clearly not, though, is it? Because I didn't blooming see it. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. 
I'd forgotten that they don't actually use necessarily the frequency that's given um, in V-Pilot around these parts. Flew from Heathrow to Venice. Oh, nice! I had a few issues. No, not nice. Why? What happened? Tell you what, Simon. I tell you what. Is that better? Is that more immersive for you, boss? <laughs> is this is this a happy medium that will please everyone? <laughs> right, there we are. Just just turn your sound off, boss. <laughs> A 320 is a 320. I quite agree. Because it suits me at this moment to quite agree, Sam. <laughs> you didn't crash or make too much. It didn't sound like you made any kind of a fool of yourself, Paul. Glad it went well. After takeoff checklist. Up. Flaps. Retracted. Down to the line. Below the line. Viro Standard set. Standard set. After takeoff, climb checklist complete. Where's my blah 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 when you need Simon and Ben? <laughs> I know. I know. It's amazing. It is amazing. There's definitely there's definitely some uh, preferential treatment around here. You don't get this kind of stick for flying your A340. Well, anywhere and everywhere you like, and nor should you. Yeah, I fly the right plane with the wrong engines and slightly different shaped wings. It's like, well, hell breaks loose, you know? Try fling a BACFM 56B out of EGLL and you'll get murdered before you even leave the gate. <laughs> My favourite Boeing is the 747, all of them, but particularly the 400. <laughs> um, so I had to hand fly from Albert to Lauren, which is the initial fix. Oh, blimey, that is broken. Did it just lose your flight plan or something? Oh, sorry, I've missed your previous message. Messages. First, after takeoff, I engaged the autopilot. The plane decided it wasn't going to follow the flight plan. Uh, then, in the MCD on the approach, two waypoints, despite being in there in the plan mode, didn't link up. So I had to hand, had to fly, hand fly from Albert to Yeah, it still it still is buggy and lets you down occasionally. I never put a Virgin A340 into places it shouldn't be. It was perfectly at home at Queenstown. <laughs> when you say at Queenstown, boss, you mean under the ground at Queenstown. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds like I need to fly BAA340 into each channel. <laughs> the old case of not being able to get it up. <laughs> You did lose the flight plan after takeoff, and then broke everything back on. I just to my leaving flight one. Broke everything one back minute. on land. <laughs> God, just right. Touch it that was a VAT sim thing. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought. I mean, it was a while ago, and I may be misremembering, but I know it was a VAT sim thing that it uh, that it uh, appeared to actually have its on nose five, through the ground. Seventy six. Uh, contact Brisbane Centre. One two zero decimal one five. Good night. One two zero one five Connor five seventy six absolute legend Brett out. See Josh. <laughs> absolute legend, In indeed. Perfectly decent approach. Mm -hmm. It did look like a decent approach actually. Dougal, hello. I am well. I am well. Very nice to see you, even if it's briefly. How are you? Still enjoyed it, apart from the stress. Yes. Good, I'm pleased. I'm pleased. There's a certain level of stress that you that you have to expect in any of the MSFS airliners, I think. 
Um, and when you don't have any stress, it's a lovely surprise. And when you have too much stress, it's a bit much. But uh, yeah. Groofy Tam, hello! <laughs> I know that wasn't directed to me, I'm going to say hello to you anyway. Oh, it was! It was up there, you said hello. Sorry, I've got a new... Basically, I can't read my chat as well as I used to be able to in uh, OBS Studio. Well, that wasn't for me, was it? Uh, the problem to MSFS Xbox, you have to buy plane and you can't have A32NX. Sounds like good evening, uh, or A330. You can't have SIM market this size. Yeah, it's, uh, it is, identified. Uh, it is, uh, a shame. Contact Brisbane Centre, 125, I've just had a message from, uh, Mr. Lim on, uh, Brisbane Centre, 125, Um, nice being here, usually not on this early. No, it's good to have you here. So, so yeah, because it's Australia week, I've stuck to mostly morning streams. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, to, to, you know, to sort of to give the Australians, I've, I've got some very nice Australians who have been around for a long time and subscribed for a long time. So I thought to celebrate the World Update and to appease them, we do some morning streams. Next week... Um, yeah, next week we'll probably do a few afternoon, maybe some evening streams as well, depending on my shift pattern, which I still don't know, unfortunately. Ah, good. I need a couple of minutes out of the cockpit as well, really, but how far are we from the edge of the Brisbane Centre airspace? Quite a long way. Quite a long way. Uh, Brisbane Centre, Jetstar 667, request two minutes out of cockpit. Jetstar 667, call me when you're back. We'll do, Jetstar 667, thanks. Jetstar Thank you, off nine, world, Center. appreciate it. Right, Jetstar back in a tick. Jetstar 29, contact Brisbane Centre, 125 decimal 2. 125 decimal 2, Velocity 9, 48, descend 100,000. Sydney QNH 1017. Descender 10,000, uh, uh, copy to QNH, Boston RCI. Descender 10,000. Sydney departures, good day, this is Qantas uh, 256, we're climbing through 2500 on the uh, Dina 7 departure. Qantas 256, Brisbane Centre identified, climb by SID flight level 350, cancel speed restrictions. Climb to flight level 350, cancel street speed restrictions, Qantas 256. Qantas 592, separation, climb amended flight level 320. Climbing to flight level 320, I'm on a 592. On a 592, uh, once you get near that altitude, you can expect higher. I'm just seeing the guy behind you. Yeah, no problem. Brisbane Center, Scooter 641, departure. Scooter 641, identified, verify level. 0641, passing 5700. Scooter 641, cleared to Sydney by Banda Plan Route, flight level 340. Cleared to Sydney by Banda Plan Route, flight level 340, Scooter 641. Scooter 641, Hello, I am back. <clears throat> Jetstar 667 is back. Jetstar 667. Uh, what have I missed? Have a comfortable cruise. Thank you very much. Hello, going apples. Can you put more lights on the PFD? On the PFD? More lights? Is it a bit dim for you? I mean, brighten it up a bit, like that. Can do, can do. 
Alpha Delta X ray no report. Right, this is this is intriguing. What are um what are you two doing tomorrow, Dougal and Scruffy Town? Hello Philbert, I'm going Apple Time. So sorry about yesterday. I didn't mean to be rude. Do you remember? I do remember you. I do remember you. Yes, what happened yesterday on YouTube was that you um you yeah, there was quite a lot of spam, and then I, I sort of felt you were mostly there to wind people up, so and uh, you succeeded, so I blocked you. But uh, yeah, I mean, welcome, and uh, we'll, we'll see how we get on today. William, how are you, boss? Welcome, nice to see you. God, they've got so much ATC on, so much ATC. Almost all of Australia's covered. It's pretty cool. Nine forty-eight descent, nine thousand. Down to nine thousand plus to nine forty-eight. You're amazing. I'm very pleased. I forgive you, going apples. I forgive you. I forgive you. Water under the bridge, boss. Seventy-four fifty-four. Seventy-four fifty-four. Star clearance. Ribbit three arrival. Now the question is: Is Ben here and actively watching? Because I am ready with a book presentation. Seventy-four fifty-four. Good, uh, and this, this is, is what we're looking at today. It's very popular. Up to two five miles right of route. But obviously no good. He's there! He's ready! Awesome! <laughs> I believe Scroofy Tam is doing his thousand sub special event. Oh, nice! Nice! Good luck! What are you doing for it, boss? Dad, thank you for the follows going. Follows? Thank you for the follow going, Apples. An A320 is an A320, a Mercedes C-Class is a Mercedes C-Class. That's what people said to AMG owners when they had the Renault diesel engine in their car. <laughs> I'm really pleased you've been stewing on that for so long, Simon. <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay, boss. So, book presentation time. This is what you get for 30,000... Uh, um, 30,000 Filbios, something to, that many of you uh, can look forward to in the future, I hope, as long as you stick around. So today I'm going to show you this uh, book of photos called Abandoned Places uh, by Kieran Connolly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my light because I think it's going to reflect horribly off the pages. And if a book present... BUS! Paul, with a gifted sub to William. Thank you, boss. That's very, very nice of you indeed. William, welcome back to Club Filbert Ruby, boss. Welcome back. And and now, once again, a dual Club Filbert member here on YouTube and on Twitch. No, can't have him watching it. Absolutely. Not to know. <laughs> Star right. I can get, while I'm presenting the book, I need you to help me listen out for uh, One, calls two, from five, ATC. Four, Good night. Right. Abandoned places. Here we go. So there's uh, different chapters. Uh, Industrial uh, places, public buildings, radio, ghost towns and cities, military and scientific it's buildings, calling, uh, recreation and retail buildings, but, uh, transport. Uh, so I figured we'll have a look at a few from each. And I'm going to find my favourites. Because I do have favourites. I haven't actually looked at this book for yonks. This is cool. This is a an abandoned cooling tower well, in Charlois in Belgium. Charlois, coincidentally, being where the uh, Ryanair flights go into and pretend it's Brussels. Isn't that amazing? So, yeah. That is... Uh, I'll tell you a bit about it. When it was founded in 1921, the coal-fired power station at Charlois was one of the largest in Belgium. In recent decades, however, a study revealed that it was responsible for 10% of Belgium's carbon dioxide emissions. And it was closed in 2007. It's absolutely amazing. I am flabbergasted. Good, I'm pleased, William. This is cool, but I don't know where it is. Oh, yes, I do. Right, so this one is uh, Santa Laura and Humberstone in the Aracama Desert in Chile. Um, 
So it was it was an area where they used to extract saltpeter for use in fertilizers. And towns developed up around there. And then the parent company that was responsible for the saltpeter mining collapsed and the towns were abandoned. Uh, in 2005, the ghost towns were declared UNESCO World Heritage Sites. So this is this is one of them. Quite eerie, isn't it? Uh, need to make your cam bigger and the hated A320. Oh, maybe I could. Yeah. All right. Oh, don't know if I like that. But yeah, it's a good point. Right, here we are. It's a lot, lot of me you're seeing here. Possibly more than any of you ever wanted. But yeah, that is a very good idea. Specifically for photo book presentations. There it is. Is that big enough? I guess it won't be if you're on a phone. But yeah. Too <laughs> big. Uh, no, that's, uh, that's, that's Mildred on the arm of the sofa. That's Mildred there. Morris is just off camera to my right here. Shrink it, shrink it. But good for a book presentation. Yes. Okay, good. 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 Right. So, let's move on. Oh, this is awesome. This is uh, Beilitz Heilstetten Hospital in Brandenburg, uh, which was a... Um, Oh, okay. In the late 1990s, Beilitz's faded grandeur made it a popular location for photographers and filmmakers. The piano and armchair are presumably props left behind from a photo or film shoot. So that's what this is of here. Trouble is, when I hold the book, I can't see if, I, if it's in shot or not. Yes, it is, isn't it? That's good. Uh, Pretty epic. Eminem, uh, right exactly. <laughs> I don't think, don't think she's here. Which is a shame, isn't it? Uh, right, so that's uh, the first bit. Let's move on to... Uh, in fact, that's industrial places and public buildings covered. Ghost towns and cities. 78. I mean, they say page 78, but there aren't actually any page numbers, so... The departure point is fourteen forty nine, passing one thousand two hundred for five thousand. Gosh, this is, a, this is the Ryukyong Hotel in Pyongyang, North Korea. At 105 stories tall, it is certainly striking, but almost 30 years after construction began in 1992 during North Korea's... Oh, sorry, 30 years after construction began, it's still unfinished. Halted first in 1992 during North Korea's economic crisis following the collapse of the Soviet Union, construction resumed in 2008, only for it to be suspended again in 2012. Way one nine left, Sanag one departure. Climb by Sid six thousand, score three two six two. It's quite spectacular, isn't it? Uh, Roger, Claire is hitting by four hundred. Mildred Cat um, does have a Twitch account. Ah, oh, there uh, she is. Uh, I'm uh, famous. <laughs> oh, sorry, I totally missed your arrival. I still don't know who you are. I don't think. One thousand. We know who Dog of Ben is. I mean, it must be someone who was here. I feel, but I will come back after 10 minutes. Okay. Right. Couple more. Couple more, and then we shall conclude the uh, the presentation. But I quite like I quite like sharing photo books because it's the sort of thing that I wouldn't probably get out and look at were it not for the uh, were it not for the 30,000 filbios, to be honest. Plymouth Courthouse building in Montserrat in the Caribbean. When the Soufrière Hills volcano erupted in July 1995, Montserrat's capital Plymouth was completely buried by ash. 
Following further eruptions, two-thirds of the population left as half of the island became uninhabitable. In theory, Plymouth is still the capital, giving it the unusual distinction of being the only ghost town that is also a capital city. I mean, this is I mean, it's heartbreaking, really. Oh, is Paul definitely one of the cats? I didn't know that. He could be both of them. Ribbon! Good day, welcome! How are you, boss? Seen that building before? It's basically a hollow shell on the inside. Have you been there? Or you just seen pictures, boss? Spooks TV Gaming! I'm very well, thanks. How are you? You have to go for one hour. Okay, see you later. It is a lot of ash, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's look at, let's look at a transport one or two. Recreation Gosh, that is amazing. 360, There's a lot of photos of this uh, fairground in uh, Shiga, Japan. Which is also abandoned. I won't waffle on, I'll just let you have a look. Star 172 with a request. Jet Star 172 request. Climb to flight level 400. Jet Star 172 climb. Flight right, level and one more, one more from the transport section. Because it seems fitting to end there. Gosh, this is cool. City Hall Station, New York City. Designed as a showpiece for New York's new subway system, City Hall Station opened in 1904. An elegant structure of Romanesque revival style, with skylights, coloured glass and brass chandeliers, its tightly curved platform meant that, in later years, longer subway carriages were unable to stop there, the carriage doors being a dangerous distance from the platform. Always a quiet station, passenger service was discontinued in 1945. Gosh, abandoned since 1945. Look at that. Fulton 227, contact me at 130.9. Beautiful, isn't it? Anyway, there we go. I think we'll call it a day there. Um, but, uh, boss, I hope, I hope you enjoyed your inaugural Brook presentation and feel it was well worth the princely sum of 30,000 Philbios. Oh, this is going to bug me now, getting it back in the right place. Because I was a bit anal about the spacing between the left-hand edge and the uh, and the thing at the bottom. Or at the bottom. That'll do. That'll do. I'm pleased. I'm glad you enjoyed it, boss. Got to say that looks fab. What the the book? It is. It's amazing. It is this. Yeah, the I'm going to finish finish looking at them after the flight, actually. Yeah. Okay, Spooks TV Gaming. Um, try and keep this family friendly, to be honest with you. But I'm sorry to hear that, nonetheless. No, you're... S oh, no. She's still there. She's just a bit small. She's just behind that cushion there. <laughs> And thank you very much for the 50 bits. <laughs> you studied that eruption in sixth form college, right? Quantum there are a lot of poles. <laughs> uh, level 1376. Um, yes, that was in New York City, that last one. Yeah, yeah. Got to say that looks fab. Yes, indeed. It was definitely a good presentation. Good, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Hype Keras. Very nice. Now, in, I suppose, because I'm sort of running out of books that I think are fun for us all to look at together, you should keep notes of the ones that you're interested in, and then we can go back to them and look at some other, like, particularly the photo books. I think Scott got a recipe book. So, yeah, keep a note. If there's any you want to go back to, we can. Um, apparently people fell through the gaps between the carriage and the platform because of how tight the car... Yes! Yeah, that's what it said. Um, yeah, due to the... Uh, Longer carriages, I guess. Longer carriages on a curve, the, the doors are further away. Um, Got to love the fifty-eight knot headwind. Yes, <laughs> not ideal, is it? 
I did know bad words. You did know bad words. It's true, Speaks TV Gaming. It's true. But, um, you know. <laughs> what speed are we doing? Yeah, 0 0.782 Mac at the moment. <laughs> oh, God. It's amazing how she's able to type these messages while also lying on the sofa, isn't it? <laughs> you like making me blush. Good, I'm pleased. I'm glad to... Uh, that here didn't particularly make me blush. It's just more, you know. It's just not the vibe we're going for, boss. <laughs> you know. It's a Christian Twitch channel. <laughs> Why can I say ending in a band? Well, oh, oh, CKS, I'm. CK Sim Gaming with a raid. Thank you very much, boss. How are you? How was your stream? Uh, so welcome, welcome to all of you raiders. We are flying the A32NX from just, uh, 172 Brisbane just to Ayers Rock, which is uh, which is very nice. I hope. <laughs> had quite a good departure. Um, we've had some lovely scenery around yeah. Brisbane. <laughs> Simon! Simon with a gifted sub to Mildred. I hope you appreciate this, Mildred. Now you don't have to watch ads. <laughs> Thank you, boss. Very kind of you. We are landing near Uluru, not on it. Not on it. <laughs> what did you what did you get up to on your stream then? Dear. You're all being very generous today. I do appreciate it. It's very nice of you. Even if you're gifting subs to Mildred Cat. <laughs> On it would be a challenge. It would. It would. And very insensitive as well. <laughs> what I would like to know is whether the stream is any smoother than it used to be in Streamlabs OBS. Don't know if anyone's noticed any difference. Airbus for the win! Welcome, thank you very much indeed for the follow. Definitely no butter landing on Uluru. Flying from Bandit Ache to Singapore. Oh, nice! Nice! In, uh, in MSFS? Right, should we have a little look at our route and uh, see who's where on the land? Let's just check if my window capture works. Or display capture, I should say. Yeah, seems to. So here is Volanta. It would help if I'd added a flight plan, actually, wouldn't it? Ah, uh, it won't connect to Simbrief. Okay, well what we'll do then is we will have a look at who's where and then have a look at our route in Navigraph charts. So we have Jetstar 29, way off ahead, don't know who that is. We have Pete, uh, yeah, Sam, just behind him. Then a large gap between uh, him and Ben. Then we have me, Jetstar 667, don't know who that is to be honest. Uh, Melon. Jetstar 172, don't know who that is either, but uh, well, suffice to say there's definitely not going to be enough parking when we get there. Yes I have, I've changed from Streamlabs OBS to uh, OBS Studio. Yes indeed, with the Orbeck Singapore city scene. Oh lovely, I love that scene. Cause me ho causes me horrible stutters, but it is, it's worth it. Just spent £400 on Arras Joy and Throttle with air brake and panis. Oof, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Hope it's, uh, hope it proves to be worth it, speaks. Um. Oh, have we got another Sam? Airbus for the win, are you Sam? As well. Welcome, boss, whatever your real name is. 
I only recently started using the lantern exit. It's usually excellent. Guess we have to park on the grass, or maybe people can disconnect after they park on the stand. That would be my preference. Ah, yo, Jetstar 172, Aussie MSFS pilot. Right, nice, 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 nice. Um, yeah, let's have a quick look at Navigraph charts because that will show us our routing properly. I don't know why Volanta won't connect to Simbrief, but works. So, we took off from Breezy over here, flew over the city, which was spectacular. Uh, let's get rid of some of the clutter. And we're now flying, we've flown over miles. We're flying over Roma. We're going to be flying over a lot of places that no one has ever heard of. And then we're going to be flying right over the, the heart of Australia. Central, what do you call, what do you call the state that, well, I don't even know what state Uluru is in, to be honest with you. Near Alice Springs, I remember Alice Springs, Springs from our last flight here. And yeah, we're planning on an Arnav Runway 13 arrival. Via IA Wook. Our next waypoint we're heading to now is Torex, that's Tango, Oscar, Romeo, And there you have it. X-ray. Right, Northern Territory, thank you boss. Sam's almost becoming as common as Paul. I have to start calling other Sam Pete again. Forget what desert that is, Simpson Desert. Okay. Yeah, I see you on course now. Northern Territory, and you've been to Rome, have you? What's it like? Right, come on, let's have some tunes. Someone give me a genre or a decade please <laughs> I have been to Tasmania in the sim actually I didn't do that though EDM EDM? EDM? They landed an A380 at Alice Smith. they really? Ah, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, I, I use Epidemic Sound because I'm not a dirty no, copyright thief. CK Sim Gaming, thank I'm you very much for the follow. Up. Lovely to have you here and thank you again for the raid. Um, uh, yeah, I'm for yeah, so, so it, it, I can give you something maybe a little bit like ACDC, but not ACDC. I have, I can't, I can't, Paul, I can't. What's this? Alpha Delta Express. Alpha Delta Go on then. Let's risk it. Jetstar 172, report mark speed. Wilco, stand by. And Jetstar 660, 72, report current mark speed. Uh, we are doing Mac decimal 8 to Jetstar 667. There are two sessions in there together, Jetstar 667, you first. Are we doing Mac decimal 78 to Jetstar 667? Jetstar 667, Roger and Jetstar 172, go ahead. Jetstar 172.818 mock. Oh, he wasn't even talking to me. Jetstar 667, are you able, to, are you able to mark decimal 80? Are you firm we can do mark decimal 80, I think, Jetstar 667? Jetstar 667, Roger, increase speed, mark decimal 80. Increasing speed now, mark decimal 80, Jetstar 667. It's a good noise. I won't lie to you. It's a good noise. One day, boss. One day. One day we'll be able to have world immersion and aeroplane immersion. 
and will be able to fly aeroplanes in the air rather than on rails as well. <laughs> anyway, actual tunes. And just confirm that was flight level 130. One, three, zero, so CFM56 is better. Absolute rubbish, Riley. Absolute rubbish. If only vacuum cleaners could sound like that, yes. <laughs> I want the 380 to come out, fly by where I did. They are, I can't wait for that either. Rip sound. Or is it. Can any. Has the sound gone wrong for anyone else? Seven, seven, can I maybe send the arrival again for the next flight? Seven two two seven is the Bori Free Alpha arrival. Yeah, copy that. Seven two two seven. Thank you. Okay, so I've got nothing coming up when I search for ACDC, but we can have some sort of rock playlist and see how it goes. How's that? One zero one seven. Nine thousand one zero one seven. Let's try rock and roll workout. Let's <laughs> see what that's like. Nice. Corner 592, report in the case mark. pocket or pressure change or something. Lost like 3,000 feet and lost a whole bunch of speed. Uh, oh, really? Corner 592, indicated mark speed of 0.7. That's something uh, to look forward like to. Corner 592, or something, I lost a bunch of speed. And uh, it's catching up again now. Corner 592, Roger, so what's your target mark speed? Uh, sh no, Sounds good, good. Okay, good. I think it's just you, Scott. Try refreshing. Plus five nine two, Roger. For sequencing, maintain mark day small seven eight or less. Yeah, it could be. Could be. Maintain point seven eight or less. Ah, uh, welcome back, Scott. I was just about to start mouthing things in. Now, what I want at times like this is chase plane. Because I want to be able to do some nice cinematics. I'm trying to bring her, and more importantly, her two V20, V2527A5s back to LL. Oh, nice! From where, boss? I've been out of cockpit for about 10 to 15 minutes, got something I need to deal with here. Jetstar 71 mic. Just a 7 1 Mac that's approved. Report back. There we are. Back, the sort of landscape you could only ever find in Australia, eh? Ah! Ah, she's a beaut, Simon. She is a beaut. Let me show the peeps. Lovely aircraft. Lovely aircraft. Right. I'm going to try and sort out stream elements. I don't know if you need to see it. I don't think you need to see it, probably. Alright, so we'll go at Unicom 122.8 and then we'll put the Unicom Streaming tools, my overlays. The landscape is, yeah, it is absolutely spectacular. Yes, as Stream Elements said, uh, if you don't know about me, uh, I do half my streaming over on YouTube. Uh, so do come and subscribe to me over there as well, if you, if you wouldn't mind. It'd be very much appreciated. Text settings, right, centre, left. I don't know how to do it. I don't think it's ever going to work. I can shift this up, but it does seem to extend to the to the right every time someone cheers or gifts. I don't know why, because it is justified right, so it shouldn't. I mean, that's surely the whole point of justifying something right. I don't know. Anyway, there we are. That should do it for now. Uh, 
Just on 616, thanks, and report your indicated mark, please. He's uh, doing some much, fine please, work, uh, this controller, one, trying to space us all out. Just on 616, Roger, are you able, are you able to maintain mark decimal 8, Jerry? Uh, stand by. Hey Ben, just at 616, we can take uh, decimal 8, sir. Just at uh, 616, Roger, increase speed, mark decimal 8, sir. Increase the mark decimal 8, sir, and can we request uh, 10 to 15 minutes out of the car, please? Just at uh, 616, that's approved, report back. Jetstar okay, 172, I think, was um, Aussie MSFS pilot, I think. I think. Hang on, I'm scrolling up. Yes. Yes, planes are cool slash Aussie MSFS pilot. 256, contact me 134, day small 2. Is that for me? Sorry, was that for Jetstar 667? Uh, negative, Qantas 256, Brisbane Centre. I always assume it's me missing something, and it's not always, just mostly. <laughs> um, I've got peanut butter in my vape, but I, just, just uh, uh, tobacco flavour. I'm not into the uh, fancy ones. Uh, station call and say again. Uh, this is Chinatown 1022. Confirm our departure on me. Should I put the light back on or am I bright enough? I don't know. Uh, Chinatown 1022 FM. Is that better or is that worse? Probably a bit better, innit? Balance. Balance the window light. Turn it down a bit there because it's ever so bright. Um, oh, let's have a look at this screenshot. Ah, oh, that's cool. That is cool. So this is Paul, and that is presumably Aussie MSFS pilot. Seven seven two two. Sorry, say again. Lovely. Lovely. Seven two two seven uh negative. You're getting up to start your day, good for you, Riley. See you in a minute. It's been a good day, this is uh corner two fifty six radio check. Corner two fifty six five five five. Tell you what, they're very good at staying up late, these Aussie controllers. It must be at least quarter to eleven in the evening. Yeah, that's it. Maybe, maybe not. It could be quarter to ten. I guess just. About. Don't understand all the time zones, but yeah, it's great. Just after six sixty-seven, contact me one two five decimal two. We'll need that. Was that me? Yeah, I think it was. Uh, 125 decimal 2, Jetstar 667. American 305, contact me 133 decimal 7. 33 decimal 7, American 305. Uh, what do we call him here? Don't know. Let's just call him Center. Center, hello again, Jetstar 667. Jetstar 667, Brisbane. I think nine hours before my time. No, it's later, I think. It's, uh, it depending on the time zone, it's either 9, 10, or 11 hours later, I think. 9.45 in Queensland, and 10.45 in New South Wales. Thank you. We'll need to maximise it. Yeah, let's maximise it. Show it properly. Myself, 
So I've got a new monitor, uh, which a friend at work gave me, which is actually not as wide as my old one, but it's it's bigger, and I can actually read the gauges and things on the CRJ. And sometimes I don't even need my glasses. It's taking a bit of getting used to, but uh, yeah, it's really good. It's really good. Whereas when I look over my other monitor, I have to squint. <laughs> Yeah, I do still need my glasses to read the chat on the other screen, sadly. Brisbane and Melbourne Centre cover the whole country, basically split it in half horizontally. So they, he's still called Brisbane Centre, even on this uh, new frequency, is he? Because I've done something similar in New Zealand and they take different names on each frequency and it's very hard to uh, keep up. Thank you, boss. Thank you for the local knowledge. Just on 903, you're clear to Brisbane via Walter Planned Route, Walter 1 departure, runway 01, climb by 667, Hawk 7255. Do you know, I'm actually going to Google Justify Labels Right Scream Elements. After the extra, the first pullback. Qantas 256 Starplanes available. Sorry to ask, uh, would you mind repeating that Qantas 256? I don't know. Qantas 256, your Starplanes is available. No, nothing obvious. Brilliant. We, uh, Can you Spooks TV go? Uh, so here's what I'm trying uh, to do. You see latest Cheerer, it says Mildred Cat 50, and latest Gifter, Simon's Aviation. When they first popped up, they overlapped the icons. And what I want to do is justify them so that however long the name is, it expands to the left rather than the right. Do you know how to do that? We're currently passing 1,000. Channel 71022, identified, climb via said flight level 300. Because I would have thought I just had to choose justify right and it would do it, but I have got it justified right and it's not doing it. Corner 256, sorry, go ahead. Uh, we've still got a little bit until our top of descent, but when we do uh, descend down to flight level 180, we've got the uh, Blacker 4 Alpha arrival in two runway. This is... Uh... Uh, one. This is proper hard rock. Left. I'm not quite sure it's the vibe we're going for on this stream. I might find some more rock which is a little bit softer. What about indie rock volume one? You can contact me on one two five decimal two. I do, and that's not possible for me to do. I know someone you know, I'll get him in stream when he's away. Oh, that's brilliant! Thank you. Appreciate that. I mean, to be fair, I'm no worse off than I was with Streamlabs OBS, because it did exactly the same thing. I just thought I'd nailed it this time around, but I, I haven't. Prison Santa Corner 592. Sorry, Mildred. That's what, 460. Corner 592, thanks. I'm going to be honest with you, I really like these engines. I think they're pretty pog. They might not be, technically speaking, the right ones for the plane, but they are pog. seven. you can descend by star 9000, Sydney QNH is 1017. 
Oh, sorry. I know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I, why I feel the need to justify myself to those two, but I do. Uh, Brisbane Santa, Quintus 5 minutes ago. Uh, step away from Cockpit for a few minutes to make a drink. They are. They are, so. Quintus 5, Danny T, that's true. There we are. Affirmation. The affirmation I needed has arrived. <laughs> the worst flight I've had was at the Gold Coast of Perth. 5 ish hours, 11 pm to 4 am. Ooh, that does sound painful. That sounds. That sounds. Yeah, too long to be on a narrow body, to be honest. Let alone a low cost narrow body. And they will be pog on the jet star. Well. <laughs> Hamilton Island, Cork 4462, Hamilton Island, QNH is 100. Lucky I'm making lunch. Yeah. What are you having for lunch, boss? I could do with some lunch, but I'm not quite hungry enough to abandon the peaks yet. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, I thought we might have a little go at City Guesser in a bit. Maybe when you're back from uh, making your lunch, boss. So yeah, so we need some stream elements expertise, we also need some AIG expertise. I might what I might do is I might just post on their forums. Um when I'm done. My my, my fear is that uh the answer is yeah, it's not gonna start working again until our servers are updated and then you'll be able to download the missing models again. That's what I fear. I have no aircraft showing up on my T cast, you're no way to fix it. Um I mean, it's, it's included. I don't know which version of the A32NX you are using, but I know it works in the experimental build. You obviously have to have uh, your your transponder on and your mode selector set to TARA. So if yours looks like this, and you can have it set to all or above or below, probably during the cruise you should choose all. I thought my first officer did that, but he doesn't. And that's it, that's all you can do, and if you're still not seeing anyone, it could be that they are just too far away. I mean, I've got no one. Well, I've got a few people behind me, but uh, no one is full ahead of me. Don't actually know what the range of the TCAS is on the uh, uh, Airbus. Cheeky bit of cream, creamy prawn pasta, that sounds amazing. Citation I've got nothing that exciting to look forward to. And Hamilton Island, QH is 1008. <laughs> 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 Walker 499, traffic for your departure is corner to 1498, a Boeing 737, just report taxi. Got the traffic, Walker 499. Brisbane Jetstar 71 Mike is back with you. Jetstar 71 Mike, welcome back. Welcome back, Sam Pete. So, who is doing Cross the Land tomorrow? Any of you? Well, I know a few of you. Who's who's flying where? You have the latest dev version. Transponder all set correctly and flew 2,000 feet over someone with no alert at all. Did you have it set to above or below? Because I think you probably wouldn't have it 
have seen anyone if you had it set to a buff. You probably would have, I think, if you had it set to all. But maybe it was set to a buff. Jeddah to Vienna, oh nice! In what plane, boss? So you got to have to give up your CT. Yeah, that does suck. I've forgotten what you were doing instead, Scott. But something less pog, I imagine. And you are... Oh, is that Brickyard? I don't know what HFM is. But I do remember now you mentioned that you're doing Jeddah to Brussels. Don't be fooled. Amy made it last night. I'm just warming it up. Oh, right. <laughs> nice. I've got quiche and salad for my lunch. She'll be all right, but... It's no creamy, but creamy pork pasta. You were dumb to take the A320 because you'll not be able to take a lot of extra fuel on board. Uh, yeah, it's a long route for an A320, isn't it? I've got some concerns about the 73 actually. So yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, my slot is 1333 Zulu, and I will be streaming on YouTube from 1300. Oh, High Fly Malta, Moonraker, that's it, Brickyard's an American, so I don't know where I got that. I think I see it in a similar league of coolness as Moonraker. Going to what's to me, your old uni mates, yeah, that was... That'll be nice though, that'll be nice. Do you know, I don't even know what... I don't even know what my call sign is. What did Tui fly in Belgium? It's the 903, you identified Lime, flight level 3900. Flight level 3900, just found out. Beauty! Nice! <laughs> uh, Brisbane Center, corner 592, I am back here. Corner 592. Speed fade, don't cross the pond, don't cross the land. I didn't, you didn't hold on either event. Worst you got was delay vexed since Dubai. That's true. Across the land, across the pond, the worst that happened is that your, your first officer fell unconscious on the short final. What's <laughs> <laughs> the 4990? You're identified, you're cleared to Brisbane uh, via Puna planned route, uh, sorry, via Mackay planned route, climb flight level 410. I cleared Brisbane via Mackay flight level 410. Right, who's for a game of City Guesser? Any takers? Connor 1498, go ahead. Connor 1498, we departed uh, Hamilton time 5 5, carrying our climb through 2800, full flight level 180, and we are estimating Mackay time 04. Connor 1498, you're identified, you'll clear to Brisbane via Mackay plan, and can just confirm flight level 180. We're on initially, so we didn't bust your alpha. I'm requesting three nine. <laughs> okay, at least one take of the city. Three nine zero. Three nine zero. It's almost like I trained you. Corner four ten ninety eight up. We two to three minutes. Okay, boss. We'll give it two to three minutes. Playlist this actually, isn't it? You guys can't man do for all of them. <laughs> you must be Paul. I don't. Yeah, I'm sure it's Paul. I'm sure it is. Pretty sure. Because I don't. It was, it's either likely to be you or Simon, or it. Yeah, it was going to be one of you two. Simon is, is ready, dog of bet. And I don't think he'd have gifted us up to himself. He might have done, I suppose. Welcome back, Going Apples. And Qantas 256, if that was you calling there, there's nothing but a carry away. American 305 identification service. Excuse me, I wish I was that quick. I think that's about how long American it takes to switch a If I'm on. Or do you mean that quick wit wise? 
I think American it's... 305, not just yet, you're still within my airspace, just out of radar range, report your estimate for Taurus. So you're going to Airs Rock, is there an Airs port? <laughs> there is, boss. Oh, I'm sorry, there say is. that again, please, please repeat. <laughs> American 305, you're not leaving my airspace just yet, you've just left radar coverage, so report your estimate for Taurus at Tango, Oscar, Romeo, Echo, x -ray. Uh, stand by, Mark. Two one five. Could I suppose be off world? Could be. I don't know. I think we'll never know. I think we'll never know. Till someone uh, slips up. Two zero five is about fifty-seven miles away from Torch. American Freezer Five Roger. Do you have a time estimate? American Z05, um, about five minutes. American Free 05, thanks. It just doesn't matter. Thank you. Get star 290, Roger. Uh, you struggled with Wordle today, got it on the last guess. It was a, it was a hard word. I was lucky with my first few guesses and I got it in four, but yeah, there's too much luck involved. There's too much luck involved. So I think I got the last two letters on the first guess, I think. So... Oh no, I did. Well, well, I did, but I got them in the wrong place. And then on the second go, I got them in the right place. But yeah, it was, yeah, it was a hard one. Good, glad you enjoyed the cheats. Glad you enjoyed the cheats. Row here! Top of the afternoon to you too, sir. How are you doing? In corner 256, Brisbane Centre. It's, it's all going quite well except for the model matching, which meant that I couldn't see any jet stars for some reason. So uh, I'm probably going to end up driving through someone on taxi in. <laughs> corner 256, Brisbane Centre. Yep, uh, Doing well, it's the start of a great day. Oh, I'm pleased. Yes, it is. So, yeah, so far, so good, boss. So far, so good. 130, Thank you very much. And Ben got his inaugural book presentation, which was definitely the highlight of the day for him. Back. Your son's having his train tracks fitted today, getting him after school, so you're expecting a weekend of moaning. Oh, yeah, it is It is not nice getting them put on, but you do get used to them very quickly. You do. Tell him Tell him that from me, that it's going to be a bit sore and weird for the first few days. And then we'll Corner 592, are you able to speed Mark Decimal 76? Uh, corner 592, I can, uh, I can do that for you. Uh, speed, was that? Point, uh, 76. Corner 592, I found for sequencing, reduced speed mark air, small 76. And it was worth it in the long run. Look at these. Bit stained, but straight as anything. Corners 256, you can descend by a star at 7000. It is, isn't it, Sid Lamb? It is. Absolutely stunning. And welcome to the stream, by the way. I didn't know you were here. 
to uh, 7000, we've got that Q&H on, so on a 256, thank you. Took me all this time to figure out what train time tracks are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a peculiarly English way of saying it, I guess. What do you call them? Do you have like a slang for that type of race? You lost photogrammetry? Where? where? Do you mean photogrammetry or do you mean the satellite imagery? I don't think there's any... So photogrammetry is like the buildings. I don't think there is any of that. Around here. It'll probably come back if your connection improves, I think. Boss, are you ready for city gasser? American three zero five. American three zero five. Overhead four Rex. Uh, control services terminate. One two five one two two dead. Mike today. American three zero five. Understand. We're out the end of your radar, and we are swapping over to Unicom one twenty two point eight. A firm bus. Right, let's do it. So if you haven't played this before, City Guesser is a game in which you have to guess where a particular film clip has been shot. Here's the link. Um, anyone can join. It's free. Couple of rules though. No googling and no typing the answers in the chat. If you want to play it'd be lovely if you played but uh, it spoils if someone knows where it is and gives it away in the chat I find. By all means, Quantum yeah, yeah. Tazzy, do you mean you mean city guess or do you mean the flight? So we're kind of 4, 000, uh, nearly halfway there now, so it's probably a bit late to join the flight. But uh, yeah, join city guess by all means. Oh, Jenny's here as well. Awesome. Good morning, Jenny. Give it another minute or two. Gibi, good morning, boss. Singapore two thirty-seven. Contact me. Never played it. So you give it shot. Awesome. It's uh, it's it's not it's not the easiest. I find it quite stressful by the end. But ten ten rounds, we can do this. We can do this. And I always do better when I'm not also streaming. Just getting my excuses in early, okay? Not bad. Not, not much else to do at Flight Level 300 over Central Florida. No. You're controlling basically no. multiple airspace. Uh, yeah, I'm currently controlling right. probably about three quarters of the country. Nice. 86% are calculated. Right. <laughs> nice. Catman, do here we go. Let's do it. Oh, Mildred is here as well. Right, here we go. Oh, that could have been helpful, but I didn't see it. Oh, and also it's really blurry for me. Really blurry. Does it get less blurry if I make it bigger? No. I'm at an instant disadvantage. Mildred, it's where we flew from the other day when we went to Lukla, you remember?
said I will go 499 at a question. We'll go 499 go ahead. Uh, if it's available, request direct to smoker. Okay, Not let's have a little go at this quickly. I've got 34 seconds. Victoria direct to smoker, we'll go 499. Is my geography good enough to find this particular place? Probably not. Probably not. Maybe. Ah. Yes. I'll take that. <laughs> Today we are meeting. Oh, well done, uh, Tazid. Bang on. Bang on. Very, very good. Uh, so it was Nagoya. I saw the station name at the last moment. I just couldn't quite find the station quickly enough because I ran out of time. But anyway, yeah, good. Well done. Well done, everyone. Um, today we're meeting with the Department of Natural Resources. We have a mountain lion. I'm going to work on a plan to capture it. Oh, wow! When you say you have a mountain lion, do you mean like that visits your garden? Or, so, or your yard, or what have you? Amazing. That is amazing. Center, good evening, you saw Hotel Nagoya on the signboard. Yeah. Northern so did I. Right. We don't really do naming and shaming. We'll have a little look. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's do it. Round two. Come on. Hotel Juliet India Hotel request start up and taxi. Hotel Juliet India Hotel start is approved and you can taxi discretion holding point runway 29. Start up approved and taxi my discretion holding point runway 29. On the ranch, okay. Again, it's too blurry for me to read the blooming signs. Alpha Delta X ray, welcome back. Awful lot of funeral directors, though. I'll take that. Not quite as close as I would have liked, but good enough. You guessed Thailand, boy. Was I wrong? <laughs> it was Nice. I saw it at the last moment. There was a sign for like some sort of Nice jazz festival. Corner two fifty six. So, so you cleared the aisle. Approach from my one nine. Yeah, a lot of. Yeah, I nearly went for Marseille. Jenny went for Marseille. It does feel like Marseille. It does. Um, me. Who's me? Well done to you as well. Couple went. For, yeah, initially I was sure it was Italy. Absolutely certain. Until I saw the language. And yeah, Thailand. <laughs> Never mind. Ready for another one? At least you're in the right country. So exactly. Very close by as well. Very close. Please intercept the ILS. We'll report when established. Qantas 256. Jetstar 
saw the sign saying Pomp and thought it was Pompeii. <laughs> right, yeah. Fair enough. Not, not, uh, not a totally wacky guess then, boss. I think we've had this one before. Pretty sure we've had this one before. I think I know the country, but that's about it. Mildred, 14 miles, very good, very good. You didn't go for Kathmandu after all. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think I know the city as well now, but not exactly where in the city. Qantas uh, 2, uh, Brisbane Centre, good day. And Qantas 2, Squawk 1002. I guess somewhere around there. Ah, oh, very, very lucky guess. It was Auckland. Well done, Tazid, as well, again. I'd have been less keen to say, yes, of course, you can join us. If uh, I knew how good you were going to be. Our procedure was <laughs> in the airport. How we have yeah, it was Auckland. It was Auckland. So well done on to Mildred as well. And uh, Jenny, stop. right country again. Uh, Roger, come to QR one three zero decimal nine. I think it was New Zealand, but uh, changed your mind in the end. Uh, you thought it was Wellington, did you? But you went for you went for Auckland in the end, didn't you? So you got there. I was torn between Wellington and Auckland. And then I saw a sign that said Auckland something or other on it. Oh, I hate uh, these ones. Control, uh, control channel 71022, Heavy. 71022, your staff, actually standby for staff, Aaron. I understand standby. Ben, didn't you have this one on your stream? I, it feels like we've had this very recently. That doesn't help me because I have no memory of where it is, and I think I got it wrong last time, but still, it does look familiar. Channel 71022, you're stuck in Zabori. It's not Kathmandu, agreed. Right. When ready, descend <laughs> flight level 180 and from Sanad, track director Bori. See, I'd always thought Mildred was a little bit on the dim side, to be honest with you. But uh, she's uh, she's impressing uh, me today. Bori, three alpha four and do, you, do you remember where it is, boss? No, I don't think you do. <laughs> you did guess. Uh, Roger, runway 16 right uh, by Mumbori, uh, and a uh, 3 alpha arrival transition, uh, standard transition. Oh, yeah, Mumbori. and then there's all this dolphin chat. I don't know about it. Channel 71022 from standard track director Bori. Not a clue. Uh, Roger, after standard track director Bori. But I think I remember where I guessed that was wrong. So that's a start. Channel 71022, just confirm when ready, detail, yeah, I'm going to give it a stab. Uh, Roger, uh, descent 1 8 0 one ready, transfer 1 0 2 I just guessed there. Oh my goodness me, that was very, 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 very wrong. <laughs> oh dearie me. I was 9,263 miles out. Oh, sorry, I shared that a little bit too soon, Oh, no one got it bang on. No one got it bang on. Why did I come above you even though I was further away, boss? That's a bit of a scam. It's not my fault. Right, where did everyone think? So some people got Australia. Mellon thought Sydney. Mildred thought... I thought it was this lake. Well, at least you found a lake. And... Someone guessed. Where's this? Qantas two fifty six runway one nine one Malaysia. Epic guess Malaysia. Someone guessed Austria. Yeah, I see where you're going with that. Tazid guessed Toronto. Yeah, also not a bad guess. It did look a bit Toronto esque. Florida. Me guessed there, which was in the middle of the sea. I guessed somewhere near, I guess Santa Barbara, don't know why I just did, and Zilla guessed 
San Jose. Isn't that interesting? So we both thought it was California. Mark, are you joining in? Awesome, boss. If anyone else wants to join, this is the link. There are still some rounds to go. Six, in fact. You thought it was like Wulongong or something. I don't know Wulongong, but it seems like the sort of place it could have been. <laughs> Good. Right. I said Indonesia, didn't I? Sure I said Indonesia. Get star 290, you can contact me 128, there's more 85. Oh, I don't know where this is. It's for two nine, I think. This is not helpful. Oh, did I say Malaysia? Oh, yeah, I'm an idiot. I didn't know Jakarta was in Indonesia. <laughs> Thank you, boss. You knew it was in Australia, yeah. Had a Florida vibe to you, yeah. It did It did seem like a sort of non-specific place in either California or Florida to me. Oh, we've had this as well. Let's get to tell Juliet India Patrol, runway 290 cleared for takeoff, fly runway heading. 290 cleared for takeoff, runway heading. Well done, Marker. Oh yes, I saw where this one was before, and then I couldn't bloody find it on the map. And I still can't find it on the bloody map. Ah, come on, come on, come on. Must be, must be there. Eight seconds, eight seconds, and I still can't see it. No, I don't know. Let's just stick it there. Ah! <laughs> Zilla, well done. I was miles out. It was Juno. Now, I just had an alert. What just happened there? Fast and the Curious X, welcome, welcome. Uh, thank you very much for, I think you followed, right? I think that's what happened there. Uh, yes, you did. <laughs> thank you very much for the follow and welcome to the stream. So we are flying from um, Brisbane to Ayers Rock uh, across Australia and we are currently playing a game of City Guesser, uh, which you are welcome to join if you'd like to. My clicking is awful. You got it. Ah, uh, yeah. Well done, boss. Well done. Right. Where are we? Back to it. Yeah. Alaska's huge, isn't it? How is it possible to get Alaska be that far out? It doesn't even say Juno unless you really, really zoom in. It's not my fault. Anyway, congratulations to <coughs> Andrea, Jenny. Mildred, and particularly to Zilla and Mark. Well done, Hotel, you're identified flying flight level 350. Flying flight level 350. Yeah, yeah, you should all be very proud of yourselves. Right, number six, six out of ten. Come on, let's do it. And off to Hotel Juliet, India Hotel, resume and navigation, track direct Vandy. Not a clue. Route. I tell you that now, not a clue. First more navigation, direct Vandy and land road. Um, Walker 499, uh, verify your transponders on, identification services terminate. I think I'm going to end up guessing where I always four, guess nine, 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 in to get situations identified. like this and I'll probably get I'm it wrong, like I almost always do in situations like this. 
one is 256 vacated on Alpha 7. It's very so hard. Some, some of them you'll get almost straight away. Orange, Taxi to the bay, oh, pill, one is Thank, one. You. Thank you for the follow. And welcome to the stream. Uh, so what we're doing is we are flying from um, Brisbane to Ayers Rock in Australia. And we're Listen, having a quick game of City Guess, which you're very welcome to join in with. Not that information really. hotel request uh, clearance for VFR departure to the south west. Mildred, Rapid I'm very disappointed possible. in you with this guess. Right, uh, I don't think this is going to get any easier, so I'm just going to guess. Oh, a lot of people are suddenly guessing, so I guess it has suddenly got easier. <laughs> Oh, way off. Jenny, well done. Well done. How did you get it? It's you, Lasso, from the last three. Ah, oh, nice. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad you found us on Twitch as well. As we all know, the place that you're flying to is a very popular tourist destination. Once you are there, use the drone camera to have a good look around. Apparently, someone has written poetry all over one side of it. No one knows who's done this, but it has now been renamed Pan-Ayers <laughs> Rock. <laughs> that is a very clever joke. Very clever, boss. <laughs> Lots of people thinking Singapore. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, thank you. And I suddenly got confident because I saw the City Square Mall and I thought, yeah, I've nailed it here. That's definitely the City Square Mall. But no. Mr. Lamb thought, the, thought it was also Singapore. Melon thought it was Singapore. Mildred thought it was Singapore. And where was it? It was actually Manila. And Jenny got it. Have you been, Jenny? Well, you saw all the US shops and the palm trees. Philippines has a huge US influence. Oh, gosh. I'm well impressed. Well impressed. First time. First time playing as well. Saw the currency but couldn't make it. Oh, I didn't see the currency. It was kind of a... Yeah, it was an educated guess. Very impressed. Next. This is this is an easy one. I mean it's an easy one if you saw the massive clue. If you didn't it's not so easy. <laughs> In fact, I got that so quickly. We're going to have a little look around the plane while we wait for everyone else. I've just remembered that I really screwed up my approach to Ayers Rock last time. And I really hope I don't do the same again today. Milad007, hello, welcome. How are you? Not find the damn city. I take it you have now, though. I don't know why I still call you Melon when I know your name is Paul. I just got used to. It. I suppose it's the same reason people still call me Paul. This game is rigged. I poured exactly where it should be, and it's not there. Mildred, I clicked exactly where it should be, and it was there. So I think I think you've made an error. <laughs> it was. Oh, I wasn't even closest. Captain Robbie! Captain Robbie, thank yes, you very, so very much when ready, you can part level for one, the resub with Prime. Thank you. Well, well, not welcome, but uh, thank you for continuing to be a part of Club Filmer. Much appreciated. Loving seeing the streams on YouTube and Twitch. I'm glad. I'm glad you're enjoying it. So, that was Frankfurt Haupt Bahnhof which was here, and I didn't even get closest because it's a little bit of luck of the draw. I thought it was inside here, but uh, who was very closest? Tazidum and uh, Marker both bang on. 
25,000 field views. You are getting closer. The sign said, welcome to the airport. You poured the airport. No, it said, welcome to ha uh, Frankfurt Hauptbahnhof, which is like the, the main station. Unless there was another and sign talking about the airport. Because there's an airport express train. Into there's no know. reported traffic via arrival to Ulleroy. Right. I can't believe I'm top of the lead and this is too uh, exciting, I'm definitely going to... Frankfurt, don't mind, but it said Bahnhof. Bahnhof means station, boss. And it's uh, you know, that you was 1014. You need some German class, yeah. We'll, we'll work on the English first, because I know you're good at typing, but your speech is really lacking. And then, then maybe we'll get you some German classes. Thanks for all your help today. This is uh, corner 256, we're going cold and dark. Have a good one. You too, enjoy your weekend. Gosh, what a view! What a view! Sorry, sorry, Mark. Yeah, I realised. I realised as I was saying it, you were pointing it out. My apologies. <laughs> And Jenny, you lived in Frankfurt for a bit, didn't you, if I remember right? X-ray, unfortunately you're leaving my airspace. Uh, you know, should re-watch the video and press the pause button when looking for the clue. <laughs> oh Christ, I just, missed, I just missed what I really needed to see there. Well done, boss. Seven miles out, not bad. Delta extra, I believe it'll be runway 170 right when Melbourne uh, into Essendon, but you can check with Melbourne approach for that when you get a bit closer. But now I'm on shooting from 122 days when you get there. Okay. It's one of two places, and I think I know which one it is. Very close to each other, actually. Uh, reaching platinum one eight zero, Captain Wonder is now. Uh, Transfer one zero two two. Roger, I have the view in just a second. Yes, you were wrong. We shall see how wrong momentarily. It was the Sears Tower in Chicago. I hoped you'd get it, Jenny. Uh, well done to me and to um, uh, Ben as well. Now, I initially thought it was Toronto. I thought it was the CN Tower, as Mildred did, because the views are almost identical. But I saw the old uh, reclaimed Meigs Field. Uh, this is where this is where Meigs Field used to be out here. Which I know many of you remember as being where we started all of our simming back in the day. So well done to Jenny, well done to me, well done to um, Ben. I don't know why I'm forgetting who Zilla is today, it's weird. Epic guest. Nashville, okay. Mr. Lamb guest. Corpus Christi. Yeah, I see why you've got the bay there. Tazid guest. LA. Again, on the water, fair guess. And Mark, I guess, to Seattle. They're all there. None of these are crazy guesses. I think you all did pretty well, though. Meigs Field, Flight Sim 95, exactly. Flight Sim 95 and onwards. You knew it before you saw the tower. You can tell by the river and the lights of the highways. Yeah, I thought you probably would. Surely it was sightseers. <laughs> In fact, it's called the Willis Tower now. Is it, Will is it Willis or Wilson? You're above the Red Desert. Awesome. It's beautiful, isn't it? Marker! Bang in. Straight in there. And me without a blooming clue. Not a clue. Hogging big clue. Well, I'm going to have to start it again now, aren't I? Well, 
Where's this massive big clue? Tazid Hunt straight in there as well. I, s I haven't seen it. I don't know. And I've only got 29 seconds. This is a legit nightmare. Channel 71022, you can deepen 9000. Sydney Q&A. Oh, Christ, I've only got 22 seconds. Right, better have a guess. Uh, they get beat, they get to actually transfer them. Channel 71022, Sydney QNH 1017. Uh, Roger, has the 1017, Channel 71017. Ooh! Ooh! I'll take that. It was Kuala Lumpur. Uh, Milad, yeah, and, yeah, I didn't see that, but yes. Um, I know it's tempting to get it to say it in chat, but, uh, it does spoil it a little bit, but do feel free to come and play if you'd like to join in. Actually, we've only got one round left. It probably isn't worth it now. But you're welcome to, to have a go at the last. Big clue is the flag. Oh, right. You see, I don't do flags. But a couple of people got it bang on. Epic and Tazid. How did you know exactly where it was? Have you been? Or did you just... Uh... Oh, yeah. How did you know? Oh, it's your home country. Ah, nice. Is this the choke? <laughs> okay, last one. Last one. I can't believe I'm top of the leaderboard. I have never ever won one of these before. I'm definitely going to screw it up now. Is that Paul again? I thought he was uh, down. Oh, we've had this one. I never blooming remember where it is. Tried a few night in hearts paddles from this as well. That's the night lighting pop. Really? You're from Iran. Ah, nice. Welcome. Which part of Iran? Yeah, which and which night lighting add on? You're from Terra? Nice. I did well. I don't I had a friend who was from Terra. He wasn't, his dad was. He used to go back quite a lot. Go for it. Definitely had this before, yes, at least twice. At least twice. Are these payware add-ons really? Are they, um, are they freeware? Like, what, what specifically should I be looking for? Where do you get them from? Click, 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 click. Uh, smoke an iron alpha rubble runway 19 and I can fight level 182. Oh, I don't know. I know the country. I don't know the city. I always get it wrong. That looks kind of the right shape. <laughs> I don't think that's there. Uh, doesn't it's not I'm not confident. Oh no way! For the first time ever, I've got this one right on the marketplace. They're called night in hunters. Okay. One, two, three, go ahead. So Milad, this is this is the last round, unfortunately. Um, this is the last round, and these are the results for the first time ever. And probably only because Vishkas isn't here. <laughs> I've won. But well done to Tazid. Newcomer and stealing second place away from Ben. Uh, we have Jenny in fourth place, Melon in fifth, Mildred in sixth. And uh, everyone, everyone played. Thank you for joining along. Joining along, joining in. Um, I am so happy I've won. I'm so happy I've won. I've never ever won. Never ever won. Six for a cat is very good. Silla's not at the bottom, he's number three. He's number three. Right. We're not going to play again. Because there's no way I'll win again. <laughs> Say that where? Stop posting, Daddy. radio <laughs> check. Thank you, Tazzy. Is that Moradin? 
Uh, thank you. Qantas uh, 5 to 5, uh, re uh, where you'd like to confirm our departure clearance, uh, squawking 6 That's definitely Voitech, isn't it? I'm sure. Uh, and we're cleared by the SANEC. Uh, departure to Sydney. That's one is 5, it's 2, uh, 5, I think that. Qantas 525, where is it? Let's have a look. Let's see if it pops up. He's going from somewhere to Sydney. Where's he at there? Can't see him. Uh, this is Centre Rescue 953, it's about 5 miles from Atherton. Uh, we'll be descending soon. Are we about to keep the squawk for our return trip back to Cairns? Oh, he's at Brisbane. Uh, Brisbane rescue Sydney. 9, nice. see 3, yep, that'll be fine. Let's have a look at the current state of play. So, I wonder if it'll let me import my flight plan yet. Brisbane, I will go on another request. Go on another request. No. Well, we can at least put the destination in, I guess. We'll go for 999, you click the smoker 9 alpha arrival, runway 19 right when ready, descend flight level 180. Smoker 9 alpha really 19 right anyway, when ready, 180. Fine. So we have a leading the pack, Jetstar 29. Then we have Sam. I don't know why I, th I, don't know why I thought Sam was Sam, uh, Dan was not. Then we have Ben. Then we have me. Then we have Jetstar 6. Oh, that is me. Oh, my accounts have become unlinked. Maybe that's why it won't let me import. Uh, then we have Jetstar 172. Then we have Paul. Let me just relink my accounts connections. Uh, we've been uh, no. Melbourne Center. Uh, they are linked. That's the idea. Singapore 237, go ahead. So that should be. Uh, will you be assigning uh, the arrival there? Uh, Singapore 237, yes, I will. So I should only show up once oh, now on the map or in a minute when it refreshes. But yeah, just and no. Uh, Singapore 237, would you like it now no or would you like it a bit later? Uh, there's some issues. Well, whenever you're ready. Yeah, what the Sure. Uh, Singapore I am 37, Milad. What about you? Alpha arrival, runway 16. When ready, descend flight level 250. Oh, is my simple Roger, fuse name not in? Uh, ah, okay. Clear to Melbourne by the AB6 I Alpha, thought it was just right? done with Navigram. Uh, ah, you're right. I'll call you when I'm ready for descent. Jump yeah, on to C7. I think. I think 4237, when you're ready, you can descend flight level 250. What the hell all that got lost? Roger, ready. Uh, descend flight level 250, Singapore 237. Still not there. Still not there. Settings, connections, some previous names in there. Brisbane Center, Corner 592. I need to do a step out for about half an hour or so. That's all right. Uh, Corner 592, that should be all right. Thank you very much. Back soon. I think I'm going to wait until I am on my next frequency and do the same. Have a little break. Okay, I've given it a go. MSFS crashed your desktop on final into dollars. Oh, Paul, I'm sorry to hear that. Taz, I'd have to go now. I might join back later. See you later. See you later. Thank you for joining us. Well done again on your city guess of success, boss. Um, you're 28, right, right, right. Um, you've given it a go, yeah. So, that is awful. And I can see why you're going back to your Virgin 340s. I don't think, I, c I can't argue with that. I can't argue with it. I probably would have given up on MSFS this week as well if I didn't have this stream today, nine to be honest. Welcome back, Riley. Welcome back, Riley. I will say, though, something that I've learned recently is that if you're having problems, you can uninstall MSFS from the Xbox app and reinstall it. And that seems to have fixed my CTDs, and I didn't have to re-download all of the data. I didn't have to re-download any of the data that takes forever. Um, I just reinstalled, uninstalled the app, reinstalled it in the same place, pointed it where my community folder is. You can maintain speed to and, uh, yeah. on conversion. It was alright. Unable. Roger. Uh, Singapore 2270 on conversion. Corner 
1498. <laughs> 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 oh dear, brilliant. <laughs> I'm really pumped for Cross the Land as well. It's going to be good. Going to attend open days at the same time as well. Oh, what for universities? Be fair, it's the first crash set up in the popular. Can't speak. First crash to desktop in the past three days when you've been using it. Oh, that's not bad then. <laughs> I know. So much, so much bans on frequency. <laughs> right, let's put that album back on that we were listening to. Album. Playlist. Whatever you young people call these things. <laughs> When's the hit parade on? <laughs> Still three hours you won't get by, no. Do you use the autosave on Volanta? I found that works pretty well with MSFS. But yeah, I know, the frustration is, is unbearable after a long flight when it crashes really hope it doesn't happen today. Ah, there you are! Might be saved. Give it a go, boss. 1498, uh, request. 1498, shoot. 1498, just with the tower, when we were struggling to do 270, can we do 280? Uh, Qantas 1498, you can maintain 280 or not. <laughs> <laughs> so after making a joke out of being unable to do 270, you actually was unable to do 270. <laughs> Nephew! What's Jill? I'm alright, thank you. I'm alright, how are you boss? Welcome to the stream, welcome to Australia. Included Hindi there. Right? What does it mean? It's necessary but out of love. That's fine, boss. <laughs> Thanks, you reminded me I had a question. How do you load a safe flight in Volanta? So, I think there is a way of doing it through Volanta, but all Volanta does is it saves the flights in your native sim format so I just load them from the world map screen so when you're in world map you press space I think it is to show more space again for load save and then it should be there it should be your most recent safe flight in the default location I think if not check Volanta for where it's saving them you can just browse to that folder and uh, um, I can't read and talk at the same time, what was I saying? Yeah, find the file loader, it should be fine. <laughs> That's the gist of it. You're home too! Which bit of Australia are you in? I've forgotten. Now you say it, I know you're from Australia. No, I meant the Jill bit, the J-I-L. I, I know how are you, I got that. Because you translated. So what's up with the Jill bit? Sydney. Nice. Still never been, still want to go. I think Harry's still saving up for a plane ticket for me. You're an Indian but born in Sydney. Yeah, I did know that. I did know that. I had forgotten. You live, you live in India now due to parents had to move. Ah, okay. When did you when did you move uh, back to well, not back? When did you move to India? Great memories, also got the privilege to travel on an A380. Oh, nice. 2009, okay. And how old are you again? And how, how much of your life was in Sydney and how much did you get? A380's second ever fly, oh wow. I guess it still had that new plane smell, right? Yeah, of course, planes are cool. I'm doing Magnus ML8. I was, uh, I was asked to do Magnus and Lake. 16 this April. Ah, uh, so most of your life has been in India. Let me bring you a three. Yeah, good. 
I was just trying to do the maths. <laughs> Thank you, Lel. Yeah, I guess he would. <laughs> My goodness me, the grey sloth raiding with 16 viewers. Thank you very much and welcome. Welcome all of you. Um, how was your stream, Grey Sloth? Uh, so what we're doing, to those of you who have just arrived, for those of you who have just arrived, is we're flying from Brisbane to Ayers Rock, which is about a three and a half hour flight. Uh, we are about, I'm going to say three fifths of the way there now. Contact me, one, two, eight, fifth, and eight, five. Um, Shai Tanader, hello, welcome, welcome, how are you? Raid, get cover bosses. <laughs> yeah, what have you lot been up to then? On your street. Number 10, I'm living flight level 370 for 250. Singapore 237, roger. Good, thank you, sleepy time. <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling, boss. No worries, thank you very much for the raids. Bush flights, lovely. lovely. Whereabouts? Jetstar 616, Brisbane, Paddock Day. How is MSFS performance? It's, it's okay, I had trouble around Brisbane more yesterday when I was arriving than today when I was departing. But yeah, I am getting quite a few stutters around there. I'm Qantas 5 to 5, ready to taxi up, I'll just reset around here. Not to mention, not to mention the various crashes to desktop I've had over the last several days, but at the moment uh, it's doing well, it's doing very well. Did I shave? I, I shave every day, boss. <laughs> Thank you, boss. Yeah. I did I did try growing a bit of facial hair once on a long train journey where there were no showers and I thought I may as well. Um, but I didn't like it, I didn't like the feeling of facial hair. Don't think it's me. I think it would do me some good to hide my growing chin. But yeah, I just don't like the feeling of all for me. Yay plus equals yay. Well, anyway, probably the place where Australians are always happy. Yeah, probably. It is a world void tech, it is! He's flying uh, Brisbane to Sydney. Never gone to Ayers Rock. My mum and dad have gone. They loved it. Oh, did they? It's just so far, isn't it? It's so far from almost anywhere. I guess it's, uh, yeah. You really have to, you really have to like rocks to go there. I, I know it's probably the best rock, but still, it's a long way to go. To all, may the remainder of your day be wonderful. Sadly, I have to go to work. Ciao, ciao, Rohit. Thank you for coming along and uh, have a good day. Good luck with the mountain line. I'm, I'm interested to hear how it goes. Oops. Satellite imagery. Uh, edge here. You've been to New Zealand once, have you? Nice. I take it this was a trip you're old enough to remember, right? Yeah, I'd love. I'd, I mean, if I was going to go to Australia or New Zealand, I'd probably <laughs> rocks. Yes, please. <laughs> um, I'd probably like to do both, but then again, when will I ever have time to do both? I tell you, when I have, will I have time? When you lot make me rich and famous Twitch streamer and I can give up work, that's when I'll have time. Then I'll make a bit of money and I'll disappear off for a month or two to Australia or New Zealand. Went to Christchurch in Queenstown, nice. By the way, fun fact, my mum used to work in the rocks near the harbour. Ah, oh, right. Rocks near Sydney Harbour? I don't know it. Yes, when you were... I'm guessing you meant 11, right? Rather than 1, if you remember. And your dad was an airport customs officer. Hey, oh, cool. Is your dad into... I guess your dad is a bit of an AF geek as well, isn't he? Is that where you got him from? Sydney Harbour, I gathered, yeah. Not just a pretty face, boss. Uh, 
Oh, you meant one. Okay, so you have no memory of this, right? <laughs> Gosh, your parents were adventurous, eh? Travelling to New Zealand with a one-year-old baby. Sounds very stressful to me. Mind you, I have no side to have kids, so what do I know? You have many photos. Oh, nice. Yeah, that must be nice to see. Your ex took Adam to us in 2019 and then they went to Uluru just after they stopped people walking up here. Oh right, I didn't know you used to be able to walk up here. Yes boss, I'll have approach boss, I remember it well. It's going to be absolutely fine boss, as long as it's clear. <laughs> if there's any cloud, maybe not so much. But you weren't the naughty kid it seems. <laughs> no good, I guess if you have a well behaved one year old it's less stressful. Qantas 525, uh, ready for departure. Qantas 525, for my 19 left, you please take off. Uh, 19 left, cleared for takeoff, Qantas 525. You used to behave, Qantas, one, but one, whenever one, you drank formula milk. Qantas 181, for Your parents took you to Lisbon Qantas, when you were 8 one. months old, and apparently you got sick all over the plane on takeoff. Qantas 768, Darkling, available. What's my POA? Started when you drank formula. Uh, What's so again, POA, boss? I don't know what POA is. Corners 1498, descend via star 9000, Brisbane QNH1011. POA? What's a POA? Plan of arrival? Yours will be stick 2000 into the MSFCU and manage descent. Corners 1498, descend by star 9000, Brisbane QNH1011. Mine will be to stick 2000 into the uh, FCU. 9000, QNH1011. And then you probably use track FPA mode. Star 768, Dark Lance is available. And uh, yeah, stick 2000 in, and then once we are. Six point, sorry, four point three nautical yeah, miles yeah, from AYEWF at four thousand seven hundred feet. No, not where you getting two thousand. Is that the decision Alpha altitude? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to descend to four thousand seven hundred feet. Let's talk it through on stream so everyone can see. Oh, plan of action. All right, hang on. I'll talk you through it, boss. If only you could highlight in Navigraph, it'd be so much better. But you can't. So I'm just, I'm just going to show you what my. POA is boss. <coughs> so yeah, my plan uh, is we're probably going to be cleared via AYEWG, which will be at, at 4,700. We're then going to stay at 4,700 to AYEWI. Then we're going to have AYEWF in the uh, MCDU. And when we're 4.3 nautical miles from it, we're going to start a three degree descent in uh, track FBA mode and we'll probably be visual by then anyway but it's all going to be very easy but it is going to require some sort of that would complete your line it's going to require some sort of flying skill boss and, and an ability to use a limited amount of raw data to approach the airport which is rather more fun I think you'll agree than sticking 2000 <laughs> in and activating approach mode, boss. Right, what have I missed? I forgot to take my face mask off when the machine did the biometrics, so who knows what chaos will ensue during the Oh, God! Oh, you're at the airport now, boss! Nice! Have a lovely flight, boss. Tessa 71 Mike, you could leave controlled area on descent. There's no reported uh, traffic for your arrival. In so, yes, guys, I was once uh, the annoying the baby that shouts and screams and cries on your not so peaceful flight. It's not just you, boss. It's pretty much the, uh, any baby, CNH I think. Thank you very much for the ATC. Thank you. Report, I don't think it does, but I don't know. Waterfalls, wayside, it could be any of those things. Oh, that's sweet. You're very smooth, HK. You're very smooth. <laughs> Oh my god, he's justifying that he can't do a true never never approach. I wouldn't want to, Jen, to be honest, I wouldn't want to. When we get VNAV capability in this plane, it's going to be a bit boring, to be honest with you. 
Boss, is that 4K 60 FPS? Seven, contact me, one, two, eight, decimal, eight, five. We shall contact you on 128.85, Jetstar 667. Qantas 181, ready for taxi. Qantas 181, you can taxi holding point choice, runway 19 left. Second holding point 19 left, Qantas 181. Yeah, Qantas 181, whatever holding point you would like. Roger 181. Brisbane said to hello again, Jetstar 667 at fly level 380. Jetstar 667. Uh, is that 4K 60fps cam showing a really sexy room or is it green screen? <laughs> if this is my, you know, this is a room. This is my room. Yes. It's not 4K, boss, or 60fps. It's 30fps uh, 1080. But on having an A320 is impossible. No, on having an A320 is easy. It's just not implemented in the fly by the way. Qantas 188, contact me 134. You don't have to hit the approach button on the final. No. Do you? Uh, actually, in an A320, you do. I think it's a 737 where you just leave it in LNAV feed, isn't it? I think. I think, boss. Qantas 188, contact me 134. I have a great plane for you to fly GPS approaches without proper VNAV. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> that plane, boss. Qantas 1498, I know you love it. It's not my cup of tea, though. It's just not my cup of tea. Walker 499, I've got me. Uh, I've got me. Uh, business jet needs covered with the CJ4. I'll do me. Then it gets down, follows me, and prof. Then take over it, maybe. 500 feet, yeah. So, yeah, so I need to go shopping once flight is over for CTL tomorrow. I think you're having a full fry up in the morning prior to the flight. Ooh, Pete, that sounds good. That sounds really good. Actually, nice. Made, your room is very well polished. It's all right. What you can't see is that over to my right, there's another sofa, and there's quite a lot of papers and things there. It's a bit of bit of uh, mess on the table that you can just see behind me there, but I've made sure it's out of shot. So I do, you know, I move things around to make it look like I live an organised and clean life, whereas the reality is somewhat different. It does, it shows violent. You're right, you're absolutely right, HK. You're absolutely right. Even my room isn't as good as this in terms of organising this. It looks can deceive, oh, HK. Nine, 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 eight, ten, five, seven, but there you can have your dream of not being able to fly an Arnav approach properly. Don't need an A320 for that. <laughs> yeah. Contact me I, I get your point, Simon. I get your point. Can't beat a fry up, no. What time are you departing tomorrow, Pete? Do I read those books in the library? Must be motivational books, or are they cool thriller stories? I've read. I so I tend to keep my fiction over on that bookshelf there, but I don't hang on to too many books. I tend to read them and then give them away. And then on the other side are where I get my books for the thirty thousand Philbio book presentation from, and they're like recipe books, photo books, sort of jokey books here and there. And yeah, I've read. I've read all all but a couple of the novels up there. And I've thumbed through most of the books over there, but yeah. Uh, contact uh, on one, two, eight, decimal, A carefully five. curated image of a well-kept man, exactly that. Okay. I think your seat tot is 12.25, okay. Oh yes, because you're going to be arriving at about the same time as me, you think, don't you? Yeah, I remember that. We're both going to Brussels. Um, ooh, that reminds me. In case you've been ignoring what Stream Elements has been telling you all the way through, do make sure that you come and subscribe to me on YouTube as well. YouTube.com slash Philbert Flies. Because that's where half my streams are done. And including tomorrow's across the land, which is going to be proper pog. We're flying from Sharm El Sheikh 
I definitely know what I'm doing tomorrow, don't I? Sharm El Sheikh to Brussels in the 737-700. So Cross, cross the Land is a VATSIM event, um, whereby we're flying east to west from the Middle East, various places in the Middle East, various places in Europe. That's cool. Whoever can't like sort of or don't want to simply spend so much money can read such books. Even I do that here. Many small kids don't. Yeah, I don't. I, I know some people like hanging on to books. My mum has a whole library, pretty much every book she's ever written, uh, written read, and I get that. I get the minimum. But I just I like to keep stuff to a minimum. I don't. I don't particularly. I don't reread stuff generally, and I don't see the value in hanging on to. You're heading to Brussels as well. Ah! Well, I see. How long is your flight from Dubai? Probably you'll be gone before I get there, I think. Up to 302 of Oh, Riley! Scott, have you given your slot away already? Because Scott had a slot he was looking to give away. I think he probably has. Seven hours, yeah. I think mine's five, so you never know. Five, nice. Foot sequencing, turn right, heading three, three, zero. You used to have a ton of books, but after your last move, you said no more and dropped down to just a few. Yeah. Uh, and do you miss them? Turn right, heading three, uh, three, zero. Uh, I thought you'd probably. Quarter five, nine, Oh, sorry, I missed what you said. It's really nice to give away things, and actually this may sound weird, but when you give what you like the most to someone else, that's called cool. giving out love. It's true. Walker 4 Nana Nana from Osaka, you cleared the ILS approach from my 1 Nana right before established. From Osaka, cleared the 1 Nana right. Simon, are you thinking of not doing it as well? You're just being very, very nice. Yeah, Riley, there are slots coming back, so you, you might... You might be lucky, it might not be too late, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, so that's, that, that's mostly what I keep doing. Also, I mostly read on my um, Kobo now. I really like that. I, I, I like, it's nice to hold a paper book sometimes, but... It's so convenient to just be able to get books out of the library and and, and carry them. Just on nine and zero three descend of flight level of one three zero. Right, I'm going to take ten minutes out of the cockpit to. Uh, to uh, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I'm going to ask for ten minutes out of the cockpit to have a bite to eat. So let's see. One eighty eight, Darklands available. He is a nice man. He is a nice man. Very nice man. Yeah, it happens happens twice a year. Same as Cross the Pond, I think. I've never done it before. Yeah. It's good to have a paper in the toilet, this is true. <laughs> and Brisbane Jetstar six sixty seven requesting ten minutes out of cockpit. Jetstar six sixty seven, that's approved report back. Roger, we'll report back just six is seven. Thank you. Right. Qantas 188, Brisbane Centre. I am just going to... Yeah, I'm going to disappear briefly. Have a bite to eat. I shall be back shortly. He says, desperately trying to work out where my break uh, text is on here. On one minute out of cockpit. There it is. Quantum Take your break back soon. There we are. Webcam can go Thank off. You. Yep, see you, see you in a bit. In Qantas 592, you can resume a navigation track trip to Palol Flanders. Brisbane Centre, just start 768, it's at 1987. Brisbane Centre, you'll repeat that point, please, Qantas 592. Qantas 592, resume a navigation track trip. Track direct to Palol, Plan Dredge. Resume navigation, Qantas 592. Jetstar 768, uh, you'll be at flight level 180 for just a few more miles. Copy, Jetstar 768. Walker 499, established 199 right. Walker 499, runway 199 right, you cleared land. 
Oh, no, no, right, close the way, Torquance 490. Torquance 1498, runway 19 left, you cleared land. 19 left, close the land, Torquance 1498. Qantas 188 Brisbane Centre, if you hear this transmission, I don't. Qantas 188, Brisbane Centre. Star 616, when ready, descend flight level 240. When ready, down to 240, Jet Star 616. Jet Star 903, descend by Star 5000, Brisbane BNH 1010. Just on 903, descend by star 5000, Brisbane QNH 1010. Send to 5000 QNH 1010, just star 903. Jet star 768, you can descend flight level 130. Down to 130, just star 768. Got a 1498 vacated out of six. 
Corner 1498, you can deck for the bike. For the bike, 1498, bike. I walk up 499, I've vacated, thank you, sir. I walk up 499, you can also taxi the bay. Taxi the bay, get it. Yes, star 903, decent by star 4000. Send by star 4000, you know, just star 903. Yes, star 768, decent by star 9000, Adelaide QNH 1019. Decent by star, um, sorry, can I get that altitude again, please? And it's at 768 is 9000. Decent via star 9000, QNH 1019. Qantas 188, can you hear me yet? Qantas 5 to 5, uh, we have to disconnect uh, for work reasons. Uh, can we uh, reconnect uh, if we're still um, in your area before top of descent? Uh, Qantas 5 to 5, that'll be fine. Uh, thank you, hopefully see you later, bye. Star 903, decent by star 3000 from a circle, uh, sorry, from Bet, so Euclid Alice Bridge, runway 19LF, for establish. Send 3000 in from Bet, so see the LF from where the line left, so we'll establish just star 903. Just star one, one two nine, one, 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 three. 
Star 768, you can do send by star 5000. Send by star down to 5000, just star 768. Point of 188, it got you 5 by 5. Ah, good, thanks. And close 188, you can descend by star 7000, Brisbane QNH 1010. And a 7000 by the star 1010. I'm back. <clears throat> right, let me just uh, tell him I'm back and then I'll see what you've been saying. Brisbane, hello again, Jetstar 667 back in the cockpit. Jetstar 667, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, right. Gosh, I've missed a lot of chat. Destinations. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Quite early. All oh, right. Yes. Yes. This was, uh, Riley quiet. possibly taking Simon's slot. If you invest in a wireless headset, you need an asked out of the cockpit. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I suppose that's true. I think it's quite nice to take a little break once in a while. Business center just under a previous established. Um, uh, whenever he calls you, you can come nine unless nine you're on the line. toilet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do the Asia to Europe flights really take seven hours? Get star 768, do send by star 3000 from Gully, BCR, yes, okay. Fluky through to Dubai and back to visit your send dad, and you remember it taking and six and a half hours from the Amherst Trump Center. Uh, okay, this is all. I don't think I really need to respond to most of this. Bandwidth insufficient? Oh no. Is it back, boss? Oh good. Yeah, I've had that very occasionally. Uh, what happened to Moradin? What happened to him? Thank you, uh, thank you, Orange. Orange O'Pilp. O'Pilp? Welcome to you as well. I don't think you were here before I left. Um, yeah. Here. Oh, he's had to work. What, has he had to abandon his flight? Oh my god. That's not good. So at least he only had to disconnect. <laughs> didn't, I guess he didn't have to totally abandon it. Why are we getting new cruise altitude 39... Pardon me, 390. That's weird. Okay. I should probably think about setting up for some sort of an arrival, actually, shouldn't I? Yeah. Very close. Right, so we are expecting then. <coughs> oh, there's two RNAVs, are there? <coughs> What's the Yankee like? Let's have a little look. No, oh, Yankee no longer seems to be valid. So we'll do the RNAV Zulu, runway 13. No stars at this airport, but we are planning on going via Whiskey Golf. So we'll insert that. It's fine. And we can do our Perf approach page. And 
get the latest meta. There is no meta. Oh, there is meta. Good. 1109. Just start 768, runway 23, clear to land. Transition altitude. Transition Clearly level. Right, Transition two, level is flying level 110, so we'll leave it at that. That's fine. QNH is 1014. Temperature is 27 degrees. Wow. <clears throat> and the minimums are 2,000 feet, I think, for an LNAV L -NAV VNAV approach. I guess technically we should take 2090 because we are really just going to be doing an LNAV approach, aren't we? Yeah, we'll take 2090 due to the lack of working VNAV. And we'll use auto brake medium, just because I have bad memories from last time of it being a fairly abrupt stop needed. Uh, Test star one, thank you back with your apologies if I'm escaping my radios or that they switched over. Test star 172, no worries. It was a choice between seeing the ground and lowering the stream quality. It was a tough choice, but I chose to be able to see the ground. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I'd have done the same as. No CPDLC? No. Now, I've never used CPDLC. At some point, I need to learn how to use it, but... Uh, to be honest, I wasn't um, I wasn't even sure we'd have ATC this far out. Oh, thanks, Melon. I shall. Yes, got it. Angas, AYEWG, AYEWI. Then we should have WF. Then we should have the runway. Yeah, that's Corner 188, fine. descend by star 4000. And I suppose we should have a little think about when we might want to start our descent. We want to be at 4,700 feet um, by AYEWG. So we want to start 105 nautical miles out. So anyone who's ahead of me, what's, what's the... Um, What's the deal with ATC at Ayers Rock? Are we going to be on Unicom then? Is he going to be controlling us but not with a radar service? Or how's it working? I mean, I'm sure he'll tell us, but he will descend until you're out of controlled airspace. Ah, perfect. Thank you very much. One thing that confused me, I heard him say, I heard him earlier on telling someone that it, they're no longer under radar control, but they're still within controlled airspace, so they should stick with him. And I've never come across that before. Thank you, appreciate that. Um, is it just me or does that look a bit weird? That looks very weird. Ah, it'll be alright though. It'll be alright. We'll, it will sort... The, this sort of thing it tends to get sorted out when you're near, uh, a bit nearer. And if it doesn't, we'll just go direct from here to here. No biggie. No whackers, mate. Is that the US guy? I think he was heading out over the Pacific, I guess. It'll fix... Yeah, I think it... Yeah, I thought it would. Um, I didn't hear Bossman listening properly. Oh, the music stopped. Get star 616, clear to leave controlled area on descent into Uluru. Traffic for your arrival is jet star 667 at May 320 Neo from the east. Estimate the field time 51 and your area QNH is 1014. What should we have? What should we have? to leave your control zone and we'll keep an eye out for the company uh, A320. Uh, Let's have a bit of jazz. Rocket 1014, just star 616. And just star 616, you can report on the ground to cancel. Sorry. Alex, I'm really impressed you've stuck with us so long. We'll go about on the have a very star happy flight and a good landing to you as well, boss. Although you have less control over it, of course. That's kind of what yours was like today, and it didn't fix itself in fly. I have had it, yeah, I have had both. We shall see, we shall see. 
Honestly, the sacrifices we make to, uh, to fly in as close as we can get to the real world, eh? You won't be flying a good piece all around. <laughs> Flying idea, Ava is a fine one nano right. It's gonna be a bit more of a tactic feeling on the other end. Yeah, just just pick your own runway, innit? Majestic with uh, one nine right, that's okay, one nine eight. Plus one idea, no one. Now before we uh before we start our descent, I do feel I should probably tell you a little bit about the benefits of joining Club Filbert as a subscriber. So Clubfield is what I call my um, Twitch subscription program slash YouTube membership program. Three different tiers. We have Ruby, Sapphire and Emerald for tier 1, tier 2, tier 3. You get access to custom emojis and members badges with uh, Ruby um, as well as private channels in my Discord server. Um, with Sapphire, you also get to join us on our monthly Club Filbert Sapphire Silver group flight slash live stream over on YouTube. And Tier 3, in addition to all of that, you get to chat to me after most of the streams uh, in a Club Filbert Gold and Emerald only voice chat on my Discord. And you get to vote on the routes I'm going to fly the following week. So, entirely up to you if that sounds like something you fancy. That's what getting. That's what a subscription here gives you. That is all, and it's definitely not a cult. There are. Jetstar six sixty seven. When ready, descend flight level two five zero. When ready, descend flight level two five zero. Jetstar six sixty seven. Two five zero. I will give it a minute. I don't know why Restream Chat feels the need to tell you I've received a thousand messages today. I don't think anyone's that interested in that. I mean, I'm not that interested in that. You lot almost definitely are. <laughs> Alright, let's start down now. Better too early than too late, eh? And how are we doing for spacing? Anyone I need to worry about with my descent? <sighs> Sam, I think, is on the ground. Yes, he is. Possibly only just, though. He's still moving. How was your arrival, Sam? Ben is a fair old way ahead of me. And behind me, we have Jetstar 172 and Melon. Whole Melon Shin Kicker Lord. Four four four. And Brisbane Centre Jetstar seven one Mike is on the ground at Aluru. Uh, thank you very much for the ATC. Jetstar seven one Mike, how was your day? Thank you, Offworld. <laughs> Always appreciated. Ooh, we can see ourselves from the ground. Oh, how do? Ooh. Look at that. That's cool. That is cool. I'm going to take a blooming screenshot of that for once. Just seven, six, eight. Have a good one. 
Pity the contrails aren't a little bit longer, but anyway, you can't have everything. Tearing her through the sky there, aren't we? Wait, why can't I... Ah, there we are. There we are. That's the view I really wanted. Nikki, Welcome! How was school? Flight's going very well, thank you. Very well. It does. I think it's good. I think it's good that you can view yourself from the ground. I just would like to remember that and know how to switch between it and the normal drone camera, which I always forget. <clears throat> that headwind hurt the old fuel prediction is looking a little sad. I dare look at mine. I think there's something on the door. All this banging next door. I don't know. I'm just going to have a quick check. You clear leave controlled area on descent. Traffic for your arrival is Jetstar 616 and A320. Estimates the field time for two. And additional traffic is Jetstar 172. Another A320. Estimates the field time 56. Area QNH is 1014. Okay, uh, cleared to descend out of your controlled airspace. QNH 1014 and uh, copy the traffic. Thanks very much for your service, uh, Jetstar 667. Star 667, you can call me on the ground to cancel Star. Roger, we'll speak to you on the ground, Jester 667. Ah, just in time, just in time. <laughs> that was a nice pr Oh, I'm pleased, I'm pleased you enjoyed it. Today was boring, we had two hours of Italian literature. Oh, that is quite a lot of Italian literature. Jason, Jason, I saw your, your very generous uh, cheer as well. I didn't catch the message, let me just have a, let me just have a look back. Are the alerts a bit quiet in general, do we think? Apologies for my absence. No need to apologise, boss. Welcome back. Right, let's keep going. So is that Jetstar 172? AFM Jetstar 172. We'll keep it to 12,000 When ready, Houston, flight level 250. Flight level 120. When ready, Houston, flight level Yeah, how are you, Jason? What's, what's the latest? It has been ages. Just in time, is he? <laughs> I do, yes, I do use a PC. Uh, six in a. Oh no! I was saying I dropped, got back just in time. I went. There was there was someone at the door. It was a parcel for next door. And I uh, yeah, I got back just in time as ATC were calling me. Oh, I'm sorry to that. You okay? You okay, Jace? Corner one eighty eight. Disembarked star 3000 from a Soko Euclid Alice approach, runway 1901 to report when established runway 188. Yeah, we're well ahead on our descent profile. Just dizzy feeling, feeling below par, but age might have something to do with it. 
I don't think... I don't know. I don't think dizziness is a standard sign of uh, getting older, boss. But I hope it passes anyway. You'll be able to watch two landies. I will. I will. Anyway, yeah, talk to me about the alert volume. Is it okay? Is it too quiet? Too loud? Don't think it's too loud. Later when neighbour calls parcel or parcel. Yeah. Headaches as well. Oh, rim. You may or may not have set this to a sunrise. Boss, have you been flying in live time this whole time? I know you're flying P3D and there's not much worth looking at out of the window, but even in P3D with Orbex Australia, surely... Surely it would have been worth flying it when it really flies, boss. Got some great screens view part next to the Qantas Link Fokker 100. Oh yeah, yeah, I'd forgotten that was there. <laughs> Madness. You deserve a sunrise after that, boss. You deserve a sunrise after missing all of Australia in the dark. Preparing to do a flight on the Dreamliner tonight, so that might help. <laughs> I don't know. If you've got a headache, boss, I don't think the Dreamliner is the plane to be flying. <laughs> Gatwick to Ibiza, Chewy. Oh, it does sound fun, though. It does sound fun. You've been weighing it up. Now landing into here, you need to see. You do. You do. I think. I think you will not regret it. Get some screenshots if you're able. I'm curious as to what. Um, Air's what looks like in P3D, you know, just in case I fancy swapping my engines out and doing a return flight at some time. It can. Yes, it can definitely be worse than the CRJ. <laughs> Amazon posted a DV D3 Adora a few weeks ago, meant for another block of flats. We attempted to open it, see if it's worth keeping. It was good and went round with it. <laughs> very restrained of you, Mark. Very restrained of you. I love this approach. You have the AU scenery for way away. You love the red, like the colour of me when I come off a beach. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's like nowhere else on the planet, isn't it? It's really nice. Really spectacular. <clears throat> yeah, I've got to be honest. I, well, I've had my own share of problems with the with the seven eight seven in MSFS, and I don't think it's got much better. To be honest, I think Heavy Division are doing their best, but from what I hear, it's still quite broken. Whereas the salty mod for the seven four seven. By all accounts, according to uh, Pete, in fact, has got really quite good. So you might you might want to consider flying that instead. I don't know. Oh, I was saying <laughs> I was saying if you get any screenshots of the uh, of your arrival or of Airs Rock in P3D, I would be keen to see them just in case I fancy swapping out my engines for the return flight. Oh, that's annoying. Did you get your money back? Saw a private car in with parcels in it, but you never called and it just came up delivered. Yeah, Amazon customer service tends to be among the best. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, Jason. I'm a little worried about this approach, I'm not going to lie to you. That doesn't quite look good enough. <laughs> A-Y-E-W-I, A-Y-E-W-F. I mean, it, it, the waypoints are right. It's just the line between them. But maybe when we slow down, it'll, um, it'll get better. Right, let's descend now 4,700. Go back into manage speed. Mm -hmm. 
Have I achieved a hold in the new experimental version? I have, yeah! It was really easy! And really good. You went Vectors to final, did you? Did you? I might do the same then. Euro West has CP DLC, your day is saved. Why did your day need saving, boss? Was it all going horribly wrong? Thank you, boss, for the screenshots. Um, it's very broken. I don't think a 787 is supposed to go upside down. Oh gosh, yes, I'd forgotten. Yes, Riley here had a particularly bad experience in the 787. <laughs> Should fix itself, maybe. Test it for me, will you? <laughs> I will, boss. I will. In fact, it seems to be fixing itself as I slow down. That's looking better already. So I think what it was doing was probably quite accurate based on my current speed. It was telling me that I was going to overshoot. And as we get slower, looks like I'm not going to overshoot, which is, which is pretty pog, to be honest. Maybe it's all good. Just Euro West without CPDLC. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it can. <laughs> So you just select hold at the waypoint you were to hold at. Yeah, it's as simple as that. And then um, in the, in the not the legs page, the flight plan page. So say I wanted to hold at AYEWF, click on that, press hold, and then I could change the settings. So inbound course, one, two, six, and then right turn, you can change that to left. You can select your time and distance and then press insert and it'll do the hold. And then when it comes to exiting the hold, it'll come up with an exit option next to it on the right here. And you just press that. Piece of cake, boss. Piece of cake. Oh, we're going all the way down to green dot speed already, are we? No, we're not. Don't think we need to go this slow yet, to be honest with you. Let's at least do 230 for now. Unless I've missed a speed constraint for the arrival. I don't think I have. I don't think there are any. Oh, max initial 210 knots. I did. Right, we're passing through the transition level. We'll set local QNH 1014. QNH 1014 set. Hello? Wakey, wakey. <laughs> QNH 1014 set. Oh, you know why? I don't think I ever finished my... Um, Checked. No, that's not helpful. <laughs> QNH1014 set. Hang on. Let's get the old seat belts back on. Oh, they already were. Maybe he did it. Let's say he did it. Not that I forgot to turn them off for the entire flight, eh? <laughs> Sounds very piece of cake. It is very piece of cake. QNH1014 set. Approach checklist. Briefing. Ah, thank you. Confirmed. Confirmed. ECAM status. Checked. Seat belts. On. Biro ref. 1014 set. 1014 set. Minimum. Two zero nine zero set. Two oh, two zero set. nine zero feet set. Enter. Set and checked. Two zero nine. Thank zero you. Set engine <laughs> mode selector. Normal. Approach checklist complete. Right, let's activate our approach phase. Yeah, this is all going to be absolutely fine. Um, can we see a LaRue yet? Yes, there it is. I'm glad you uh, prompted me. Pretty sure that's it, right? It's def I definitely remember it being over that way. Pity we're, with the last time we came here, we approached on a right downwind, so we had a better view of it. Still looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, it was partly my fault this time, though, Jason. Thank you, Offworld. I 
we finished the approach checklist? I think we have. Let's activate the approach phase, let it slow us down. My work schedule this week, I am off tomorrow and Sunday and Monday, and then I'm spare Tuesday to Friday, so it depends. I don't yet know what I'm working. It doesn't, uh, Game Rackius. It didn't. It used to. But it doesn't anymore. I don't know why. In fact, it might sometimes happen. Yeah, probably ago. potentially working from home option. There's rock traffic. Uh, Jetstar 667 is overhead Whiskey India, making left base for the Arnav Zulu runway 13, descending through 5,200 feet. Flaps one. Speed checked. Flaps one. Right, I have to concentrate a little bit here. We want to start our descent 4.3 nautical miles from Whiskey Foxtrot. <laughs> possibly, Jace, possibly. I wouldn't like to comment too much just in case there's anyone watching who shouldn't be. <laughs> The, f the first officer is called, uh, it's, it's made by FS2 crew, and it's called um, Project A32NX. Ah, oh, Struth, I've lost my uh, track IR thingamajig. Right, I'll do without it. <coughs> there's, there's rock there in the distance. Flaps 2. Speed checked. Flaps two. I'm going to get set up nice and early for this one. And at 4.3 nautical miles, if we go into track FPA mode now. We'll preset a three degree glide path. Down we go. Gear down. Airs rock traffic jet star 667 on a 10 mile final runway 13. Flight attendants, please prepare for landing. Gear down. And I think, to be honest, we can probably just hand fly this when we get a little bit closer. I'm going to just increase that descent rate ever so slightly because I missed the 4.3 mile marker. Should really keep a track of your track IR, yeah. <laughs> I know, I can't help it, Jason. It just comes naturally to me. <laughs> so, of course, if we had working VNAV, we'd be able to see exactly where we are on the approach path. But uh, we don't, so we can't. Right, time, I think. High time to turn the music off and concentrate. 2,500. Radar altimeter alive. Flaps three. Speed checked. Flaps three. No worries, boss. Thank you for coming along. It's been nice to have you along. And uh, yeah, see you soon, boss. Flaps full. Speed checked. Flaps full. I don't know how to do Cabin predictions, Riley. I don't know if we've got any mods here who... Is, it might be a little late. It might be a little late for a prediction, I think. Right, let's hand fly this plane, shall we? We're visual. I think we're a slightly low, if anything. Landing checklist. Cabin crew. Advised. Auto thrust. Speed. Auto brake. Medium. Ecam memo. Landing no blue. Landing no blue. Landing checklist complete.
Here's Rock Traffic, Jetstar 667, short final, runway 13. And there's a LaRue in the distance, yes, well spotted. And if I had my track IR on, we could have a proper look at it. <laughs> Just, I'd probably put it, I don't know, whatever. Always turns up. Good luck. Thank you, thank you, Jason. I'll do my very best with the butter. Ah, this plane does feel good to hand fly. Sync rate. One thousand. What's wrong with my sync rate? Nothing wrong with it. Absolutely fine. Just a little high, boss. That's why we need to descend more. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ben. Hundred above. Do my best, Riley. I'm Minimum. Well. Continue. Checked. 400. It's not the most stable approach, is it, if we're honest? A little bit all over the place. 300. <laughs> 200. One hundred, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten, five. Spoilers. It's a narrow runway, yourself. so the pitch you're used to doesn't really apply here. I think that was pretty good, though. Seventy knots. <laughs> Nice, wasn't it? That was nice. That was nice. Oh, yes. There's only one of these that's wide enough for a jet, if I remember rightly. And I think it's the next one. I think. Thank you, boss. Oh, Christ, what was that? I don't know. <laughs> Let the Filmios come running in. No need for a Cairo <laughs> visit today. Faint praise from Ben here. Faint praise, I think. <laughs> but I thought it was all right. There's rock traffic. Jetstar 667 has vacated runway 13. After landing checklist. Flaps. Retracted. Spoilers. Disarmed. APU. Start. Radar. Off. Predictive wind shear system. Off. After landing checklist complete. And I'm going to take stand two with apologies to anyone who's on it who I can't see. <laughs> I don't know if there's anyone there. Should be able to see flashing lights as we approach it. Are you there, Pete? Are you there? Are you there? Alright, I'll go stand three then, boss. <laughs> I was going to say it was very nice. Thank you, boss. Thank you, boss. My ego, you know. Oh, I'm good away. Okay, you're joking. Oh, dear. Taxi light off. I might have already said that, I don't know. Nice. We'll be over to watch you in a minute. How's that? Bit, bit more, bit further forward. Nice. Oh, that was good. 
What a flight, what a route. Very well done to everyone who voted for this in the uh, gold echelons. And uh, yeah, right, what are we doing now? APU bleed can come on and the engines can come off. Now I really hope we can see, I think we're probably not going to be able to see uh, Aussie MSFS pilot sadly because of my dodgy model matching. But we should be able to see Melon, I think, because I did before. It's a tiny apron, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. The middle of nowhere. It really is. The shortcut keyboard for speed brakes. I don't know. Oh, hash. Slash, rather. Slash. Forward slash, I think. I use my um, honeycomb, so I'm not 100% sure. Right. Let us do the parking checklist. Can we? Can we? Or no? Parking checklist. APU bleed. On. Engines. Off. Over traffic at 510 to join 10 mile final I one three over. Off. Exterior lights. Nav logo on. Fuel pumps. Off. Parking brake and chocks. On and out. Parking checklist complete. Can we have stairs here please or no? They normally come over automatically. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Gamer Akias, Gamer Akias Greece. Thank you very much for the follow. I hope you enjoyed that uh, arrival. Um, we've got someone on 10 mile final, so we'll head over and see if we can see him. Save the GA ramp for you. You're going to bully some GA planes <laughs> for a space. Yeah, no worries, boss. <laughs> If, if, if we're short of space, I can always disconnect. It's really it's not the end of the world. You've taken way too many screenshots. <laughs> Good. Better too many than too few. You need to have a look around for my track hour and only then can you have a look around with your track hour. <laughs> yeah. It's a fair point, actually. It can't have gone far. Maybe it just fell on the floor or something. Yeah, it did. It's there. Oh, well. That would have been more helpful on final than after parking. Right, keep your eyes peeled for a plane. And meanwhile, I'll sort out my own screenshots, I think. Oh, prediction! You need to know. You need to know the result, don't you? Um, let's have a look. Ooh, ah, 187. 187, and here's the proof coming right your way. Stand by one. I should hand fly this plane more. I'm amazing at it. <laughs> Here we are. 187. 1.04 G. You think Aussie will just be some lights? Yeah, I think he will. Sadly. <clears throat> Give me those Philbios. Um Right, I, I don't know if Ben's still here or not because he was going to have to go straight after landing. If not, I'll have to remember how to do it myself, I guess. Um, ben, you here, boss? No, probably not. <laughs> You're back. Did you miss the rewind of the landing? I, um, I haven't, unfortunately, recorded it for a rewind. Um, orange, I'm afraid. But we've got a couple more landings to watch. Ben ran off. Wait, hang on. Is it predict I can I can google this it's okay it's all going to be fine I'm, I need to learn I need to learn because you just can't rely on these blimmin mods you know one of them's on a plane one of them's god knows where uh, ah it's one of them's here the scam <laughs> experience has come full circle <laughs> Simon how do I how do I do the prediction boss do you know how to end prediction twitch Check. not you you're of no use whatsoever once prediction, just type slash prediction to bring back the pop-up window. Predictions Once can be again, deleted or ended. On board today. This is your purse oh my god, the purse has lost the plot as well. The You're giggling. Yes. <laughs> 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 no, it's all right, boss. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I should. I should learn. I think I type slash prediction. As well as all I have done it once before. Oh, Scott, did you? It'll be up on YouTube. Well, it'll be up on the VOD on here, won't it? 
tighten by pulling on the belt. So I just typed slash prediction, which should open them. Ah, here we are. Choose outcome. I've got it. Oh, everyone. Everyone voted below 250. Everyone. I think that means no one gets any points, unfortunately. Anyway, I've done it. So well done to everyone who had faith. As always, you were right to. <laughs> yeah, no, it was it was nice, boss. It was a nice landing. Full hand flown approach. You have FPM counter, so you let me know. Okay, boss. You just get your Philbios back. We didn't. Well, we didn't lose them at least. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You put up your Philbios in the hope of winning more, and at least you didn't lose them. Yeah, I can't see anyone. I wonder if we can see Melon. Oh, I should say, I should say, I should say something to, um... Hang on. Just gonna say thank you, uh... Brisbane Centre, Jetstar 667 on the ground at Ayers Rocks, uh, and we can close our IFR flight plan. Just want to say thanks very much indeed for uh, the ATC. We weren't sure if we'd have any, so to have it all the way was brilliant. Thanks a lot. Right, I'll go back to you, Nikon. So we can keep up with what the hell's going on with these two approaches. You see only ghost planes, yeah. I thought we saw Melon though, I thought we did before. Right, is 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 Aussie down even? No, he's still on final. Melon's just behind him. Okay. Okay, so they're both they're both still in the air. Maybe we'll see one of them, maybe we won't. Um my boss just tested positive for COVID, so I was dealing with some stuff. Oh, no. Oh, we're trying to get Star 130, short file 130. Good job you didn't spend all day with them yesterday. Yeah. Oh, no, I see a plane. I see an actual plane, I think. That's not just lights. Maybe the first one's just lights and the second one's a plane. Yeah, I don't know. Um, surprised because it was 400 before. What's that? Oh, what, my last landing you saw was 400. Was that uh, Wednesday? Yeah, that was yeah, uh, five, nine, two, 15 miles up. Ah, Scott, I hope you avoid it, boss. What's next for today? Well, nothing really. Uh, this is We're not doing another flight, I'm afraid. Um, I That would be madness, because we've got a very, very long flight tomorrow, um, which will be over on YouTube. So do come and f subscribe to me over there, starting at 1300 Zulu. Yeah, I don't see anyone. I hear someone, but <laughs> I don't see anyone. So yeah, honestly, if anyone watching has any hints about how I could possibly fix my model matching in MSFS, I'd really, really love to hear them, uh, because it's driving me slightly mad. Anyway, that sounded like a perfectly good landing to me, Aussie MSFS pilot. Have I got version 1.2 of Airs Rock? I think so. I checked for an update on Orbex and there wasn't one, so yeah, I think I've got whatever the latest is. Uluru traffic at Star 150, clear of 13. Over. Um, we heard a plane. We did hear a plane. We had some nice audio. We had some nice audio. <laughs> and now we get to see Melon. I really need to clean my monitor. I keep. I'm seeing. I'm seeing what I think are planes that are actually, but are actually dots. <laughs> on the monitor. I suppose we could have the music back on, couldn't we, while we wait? We also support from our scenes. Right, right, right. 
Uh, I don't know, you got me, got me curious now. Let me have a look at Obex. Or did I buy it from Odyssey? Maybe I did. Anyway, I'm sure I, I did download a version and it must have been the latest one, I think. Must have been. see. Yeah, no, I've got it on Orbex and uh, yeah, it's version, it's version 1.3 in fact that I'm on. Got 8, minus 88, blimey, that's uh, very soft. Probably didn't need auto brakes medium, probably. But anyway, it's amazing that you have you have an experience, you have a vague memory of something having gone wrong, and you just think, yeah, I'll just I just want to get down and stop. <laughs> Good luck, Melon. I'll make it. What did you say you've landed? What was that? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Absolutely bang on. Absolutely bang on. Well done, boss. Lovely landing. Lovely landing. I mean, uh, velocity is doing its usual things of making it stutter, but you know, it's better with vertical speed. I think it's just worse with um, worse with uh, lateral movement for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah, lovely landing. I think Melon 2 also went for uh, auto brakes medium from the looks of things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, auto brakes medium. <laughs> <laughs> Better safe than sorry, boss. Nicely done. <laughs> Been there, boss. Right. While we wait for Melon to taxi in and park up, I think I should probably say the quite significant number of thank yous I've got um, to say for this uh, stream. So first of all, thank you to everyone who's flown along. I honestly thought we'd run out of parking. Um, but uh, no, there was enough spacing that people were able to disconnect, and we're all we're all good. Um, so yeah, that was really nice. It was really nice to have such a such a crowd doing this slightly longer than usual flight uh, with me. Um, welcome to all of our new followers as well. Really appreciate you coming along and uh, and deciding you'd like to come back in the future. Hence the follows, presumably. Anyway, I guess that's how it works. Um, and of course, the biggest thanks of all to everyone who has donated and contributed today. Um, that really means an awful lot to me and is very, very much appreciated. So let us start at the beginning. Oh, and of course, the two the two raids. We mustn't forget the two raids. Um, now, Riley, I didn't give you enough thanks because I got muddled up on my YouTube screen, stream for resubscribing a couple of days ago. Just a reminder to hop over to Twitch. I see it now, so I know what's going on. Um, we had Harry resubscribing at Tier 3 because he's an absolute legend um, saying yeet Greg's Volanta Premium Yorkshire Tea Phil Bluff <laughs> very nice in case you watch this back Harry very nice of you to uh, well 
continue supporting the channel in such a magnificent fashion. Um, and yeah, it's really nice to see you again. Marcus then turned up. Ooh. And we just got a new follower, Demonic TV. Thank you very much for the follow. Much appreciated. I'm sorry we're, we're just finishing up, but uh, hopefully uh, we'll see you on another flight in the near future. Um, so yes, bits. We had 100 bits from Marcus, 100 from Simon, leading to a level 2 hype train. Um, and we had a gifted sub as well from... Well, it's not showing up for some reason. Anyway, it's not showing up there. Uh, we had Scott resubscribing for five months. Yes, yeah, Simon gifted a sub. I'm sure he did. For some reason, it's just not showing up. But I remember it because sometimes I remember things very occasionally. But it does happen. Where's he off to? Ah, oh, you're going to park here, right? Okay, boss. Um, so, yes, thank you for that. Mm, what then happened? We had a book presentation, <laughs> which I hope everyone enjoyed. Uh, Demonic, I'm very well, thank you. How are you? How are you? And uh, Mark, you're very welcome. See you, yeah, see you tomorrow, boss. Thank you for coming along. Uh, then we had Paul, the legendary Paul, giving out five sub gifts, which is amazing. So thank you for that. We had Marcus with another hundred bits. And then we had Paul gifting another sub. So William is back in the fold of Jewel Club Filbert membership over here. Uh, on YouTube and here. We had my very own cat Mildred cheering <laughs> 50 bits, a raid from CK Sim Game at Gaming, another gifted sub from Simon going to Mildred's cat, uh, sorry, Mildred cat. Um, was that it? Was that it? No, we had a resub from Robbie uh, with Prime, so thank you for that. But then we had a, a raid of 16 from the Grey Sloth, uh, so thank you for that as well. That was very much appreciated. Then we had another 200 bits from Jason. And that rounds it off. Honestly, your generosity today is is absolutely unbelievable. And um, yeah, it's yeah, I don't know what I never know what to say. But I, I really, I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks. I think thanks. Will do. I think that's enough. I think that's enough. <laughs> right, let's just have a little look uh, and see who, if anyone is around to raid at the moment. Ah, oh, we've got Shoney, who Ben raided yesterday. We've got Flying Fabio. We've got Dutch P3D Pilot. Should we go and raid Shoney? I liked him. He's doing a round-the-world flight by 172. He's visiting every single country in the world. Um, and he is, yeah, he's, he's trying to see some of the nicest spots in each of the countries that he's visiting as well. Do you want it? I'm glad you're doing well. Um... Oh, good. Right. So, oh, right. So this is working out. Simon, how come you're giving up your slot, though? It's very nice of you. Anyway, we shall chat more. We shall chat more. And uh, Riley, I hope you I hope you do manage to nab it. Um, yeah, so we'll call it we'll call it a day there. Do stick around for the raid, please, if you wouldn't wouldn't mind. I think you will like Shoney and um, Club Filbert, Emerald and Sil Emerald and Gold people. I will see you in about 10 minutes time in the Gold Emerald voice chat. 30 euro jealousy scenery, it's not good. Ah, oh, fair enough, boss, fair enough. Um, yeah, I'll see you in about 10 minutes in the VC over on Discord. If you don't yet, if you're not yet a member of my Discord server, uh, it would be great if you, well, it's up to you, but it'd be, it'd be nice to see you over there. It's a nice little community. Um, so maybe see some of you in a bit over there. What else? What else? What else? What else? There's something else I want to say. Oh, yes. Next stream. Next stream is tomorrow at 1300 Zulu over on YouTube. It's the Cross the Land event. We're flying from Sham El Sheikh, which is also not a great scenery, to be honest, to uh, Brussels. So a nice long flight in the 737-700. We'll see how it goes. Full ATC throughout. Should be good. Um, I think that's it. Anyone, unless anyone else has any questions or anything. I don't, don't think you do. Um, right. Let's, do a, let's sort this raid out. Uh, Shoney Gaming. Yeah, do stick around for the raid. And uh, thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Uh, have a good rest of your Fridays. Bye-bye.